<laughs> Shut up, Craig. <laughs> Nobody cares, Craig. Damn. Look at us. I'm recording. I can push record button. I can push record cut and do motherfucker. What the fuck? Leave Craig alone. Okay? No, fuck Craig. <laughs> I don't <laughs> care if he jump if he does a job. Oh my god. He is very uh, important. Uh-huh. He does do the recording. That is kind of important. You know, if he wasn't uh-huh. here and we just talked, there'd be no recording. I'm sorry. Oh, I thought you were about to say audience. I'm like, I'm sorry. Who am I in front of right now? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, they're chilling. You know. I kind of so, liked doing these live action podcasts. They're pretty wait, cool. Are we meeting this for this one, even though we're not recording the thing? No. Uh, not no, not in. Um... What was I talking about? <laughs> I'm, I, I'm tired. <laughs> I just I'm got tired. done spending nice all day rearranging. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here, Dad. <laughs> what? <laughs> Dang. Uh... Dad's Barry Blitz. Oh, no, I mean, no, 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 no. <laughs> With those kinds of jokes, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, shit. Oh. I gotta oh, rethink no. my life choices now. Yeah, yeah you do. So, for everybody who is here, we are going to be recording the program of Razcast. This podcast goes live every week on Spotify. It is on Spotify and YouTube. Uh, when we record it live, we don't really answer chats. And except I do. We, except you do. But we type it out if we answer chat. And on top of that, um, we don't. I don't keep this in the VOD, so you have to go back and actually listen to it if you want to catch the full thing again. Oh, no! No, no, no! Stars! 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 What? Oh. Stars! Fuck, I always missed the first one. Wait, is Clint gone? Oh. Did he say goodbye? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Who said, who said see a clip? I don't, I don't fucking know. All I know is that Animal Crossing is a fun game that I don't got much time for. Oh, you left your island. <laughs> Stars! There's so many. Man, I have yet to get any star fragments. How the fuck do you get star fragments? You wish on stars. I did that a bunch, though, and haven't gotten a single star fragment. Did you pick them up the next day? What? You have to pick they up show the up on the beach, yeah. What? Nobody yeah. fucking told me that. How the fuck am I supposed to know? The, the, the owl tells you? What owl? Celeste. Oh, I don't, I don't read what she says. She's stupid. God. Well, you see Celeste what? more than once? Oh. I've seen her twice. Yeah, yeah you, uh, the- every time you see her, she gives you a new DIY. Well, I know that, but, like, I've seen her once. Uh, I've seen her, like, three times. Yeah, but you're you're an anomaly. The only thing that I've seen multiple times is spiders. I'm just literally a tarantula continent. My Anka is dead in her house. Like, it's just, like, her body's yeah, on the floor. I can't get her out because of Glitchland and... I, I got the DM at, like, 12.30 in the morning yesterday, uh, today. It's like, what the fuck? What's wrong with Anka? I what? I think I fucked up. (laughs) And I'm like, what? (laughs) First off, what? Good night, not really here. Thanks for coming by today. (laughs) Hope to see you again. Oh my god! Thank you for all the wonderful gifted subs. Very generous of you. How how did does is happen? I hope you had fun. I sure did. Gamma, shut the fuck up. Don't take this away from other people. Okay. <laughs> I'll just stop talking. You guys can have the rest of the podcast. Bye. Oh, no. No, he left. Gamma, come back. Wait, wait, wait. Do we still have Craig? Yes, we do. Oh, that's fine. That's all we need. Remember what he said? Craig we just need still... Craig. Oh, no. Is, is he going to come back? I, I actually hope so. Sometimes his internet will actually cut and his joke goes too far. Dracorius! What's going on, man? Good to see you. And yeah, you have a great night, not really here. I'll be waiting for that Levani uh, Mimikyu crossover. What the fuck? Did he actually lose his internet? All right, I Hello. tried actually leaving. I got up and then my ankle started hurting, so I couldn't leave. Oh, oh my no! God. Why are you walking away Lorenzo. from the audio thing? Wait a minute. That motherfucker's listening. Lorenzo, I love you. 
Sorry, what? where was I? Lorenzo's watching the podcast. How do you know? Because he fucking messaged me telling me not to quit the podcast like I always fucking do. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Every single episode. Every single podcast I've been in, I've quit at least twice. At least. It's true. At least. Minimum twice. I, no, I think the most you've done is twice. You haven't left a third time yet. Hey, good to see you, Lorenzo. How you doing, man? Oh, man. Glad to hear it. Yeah. Wait, so Wait. which part of the podcast is in right now? What? Are we are we actually recording right now? Yes, Craig's in the call! Craig, We've oh, been recording record. for the past ten minutes! Yeah, but you, yeah. you usually edit and... Oh, I have to edit now? I thought this was a non-edited oh, podcast. Okay, hold on. As soon you, as Craig you, gets in here, the world is now recorded. You trim the fat off the front of our podcast once in a while. That's only because I have to sync up the video to the audio. See? So that's what I'm saying. I didn't know when you were going to start trimming. Oh, I super am not trimming a goddamn thing in this podcast. Uh, that's that's great, man. I'm you know what tired. the worst part is? People are going to try and listen to the podcast through this through my stream right now cuz I'm live mm -hmm. and all they're hearing is a bunch of rocks getting smashed. <laughs> that's okay. They'll have You fun. guys are competing with terraforming. I'm okay with this. Therapy. You gotta get ready for the Smashing. the the tournament that I'm hopefully gonna be in. Late night smashing. I like the way that sounds. Uh. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh. You know what? I'm gonna ask you guys if you don't have to say what it is. Seven. Today I went on a bit of a blast to the past, uh -huh. and I found my old YouTube channel where I oh, uploaded no. a lot of videos. Uh -huh. I don't know if you guys had channels before yours, oh. but it hurt. It physically hurt me to watch every single thing on that, and I'm just like, wow, I was an asshole. Well, yeah. I, we, we I was, I wasn't, okay, no, I, I, I would record with my friends, and I would get all fucking uppity. I, I, I looked at that fucking clip, I, there was a a lot of clips from back when I first streamed back in like 2012 and I'm just like wow I'm a fucking asshole I was being a dick <laughs> to my friends the whole time and then I get mad at them because they call me by my real name by accident and then I get all uppity and then I cut it out and then I say oh oh yeah they said something fucked up so I just cut it out I don't know what that whole mentality was <laughs> but it's it did it was, it was not fun. How about you, do you guys have fun with that? Did you ever do stuff before Pro Pocky Noob or Raspberry Blitz? No, you don't have to say what it was. Coincidentally, earlier in Noob's chat, I was talking about how I was mad that the most successful YouTube channel I have is the one that I made when I was like 10. <laughs> I feel that. Um, oh God, that channel went through a lot of stuff. Like, my main influences back in the day were, like, this one guy named Super Mario Logan who made, like, a bunch of Super Mario plush videos, and then Chugga Conroy, who some of you might know as, like, a super big Let's Player on YouTube. Yeah. Um, so my YouTube channel as a small babby consisted of, um... Lots of random stuffed animal videos of stuffed animals doing random shit. Um, and because I thought it was cool and I only had like Windows Movie Maker and stuff, if I wanted yeah. to edit in something really dumb like swearing but not actually swearing. Like bleeping? Yes, I would take, oh. you know, you know, like you, how you can like hit call on a phone. Yep. And then just yeah. hit the buttons and just make the beeping sound. Oh my god, did they, is that <laughs> what take, you did? I would take a phone and I would just have it with me and I would be like, what the? And then I would just like hit the button on the phone every time I wanted to make like a sensor beep. <laughs> it was so dumb. Um, but like, there were a couple gaming videos on that channel uh, that was... If I recorded on like my Dazzle. 
if you guys are familiar with those. Oh, it hurts! Oh, it hurts so much! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I think he knows have it. A dazzle, if you didn't have a fucking dazzle, you weren't a real YouTuber. I don't know what a dazzle is. <laughs> You're a fucking is. faker. It was You're like the pre-Elgato, like, it was like the pre-mainstream, no, uh, like, no, not Elgato. things. It was the pre hapage HD oh, PVR. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> oh god, yeah. <laughs> oh, it hurts so much. I feel so old. But yeah, a couple of my gaming videos got like thousands of views for some ungodly reason, and oh, nothing god. I have uploaded past that has gotten anything near those numbers, and it's so dumb. But yeah, that's that. what I did as a bab. <laughs> Oh my god, I, I'm gonna pull it up actually, I don't know what the most viewed thing I got was. Um, no, yeah, uh, okay, so a Dazzle was just a really shitty cap- Capture card? Sorry. Um, and everybody used that to record, like, video games and stuff. No, I, I, I feel you on that, Raz. Honestly, um, <laughs> the old channel that I had- I tried to, um, I tried to do, like, uh, have you ever heard of the Creatures? Nobody? Yes, maybe? Maybe so? I don't know. The Creatures? At the yeah. Band? No, the YouTubers. They're not I a thing anymore. Alright, that's cool. It, it was just a group of guys that did, like, video gaming videos and stuff, and I kind of, I kind of tried to model it off that. Where the fuck? Oh, man, my, my Minecraft series got a lot of views, damn. Well, damn. <laughs> Seven years ago. <laughs> Let's see, what's the... I'm gonna sort it by the highest viewed video. Let's Do see, it. you ready for this? Do My it. My number one viewed video was... What the fuck? I got almost oh. 500 views on a on part four of my Mario Kart game with my friends. <laughs> Which is surprising because my favorite is... is It's not the Mario Kart one. I, I actually did Excite Bike with my friends. And I was watching it today. And at some point, like, I, this was when I was a really bad, like, I just started editing and stuff. We were playing Excite Bike, And I was with my friend Calvin Lorenzo and our friend Luis. And I fucking, we, I did this jump. And I fucking landed right on Calvin's head. And he went off. <laughs> he just lost it. And right before that, I did my first ever slow motion replay. <laughs> Of oh, me landing on his God. head. It was so bad. It was the worst thing I've ever seen. <laughs> but that was my favorite thing I ever did on that channel. And it was just so dumb. Oh my God. Oh my God, I, you guys. Well, okay, so I'm I also looking... recorded. Oh. Oh. What? Raz exploded. She's dead. No. Wait, Sam, did you have anything else to say? Oh no, I was just making a passing comment that I I also recorded us going to conventions and I would always wear my gamma mask, oh, which cute. surprisingly enough, in current situation, I am using as a mask. Oh my lord! So it worked out in the end. Full circle. <laughs> if it, it works, is. it works. I mean, it did. I showed up at work and they're like, "Hey, you got to wear a mask." And I was like, "Oh my god, I just found this mask in the basement." Art imitating. Talk about life. timing. Talk about fucking timing. <laughs> but yeah, sorry, Raz, I cut you off. No problem. <laughs> okay, I'm looking back at my old videos. And let's see, the, the video with the most views has 101,000 views. What the The what next the? one Holy has fuck. 50k. The what one the after fuck? that. <laughs> That's 20k. The one after that is 11k, then 7.2, then 7, then 4.4, then 1.5, 1.3, 1.2, and then 720, and then it just goes down. Excuse the fuck out of me. I... Right? This is okay. why I'm mad. This is why I'm so mad that as a fucking child, I have managed to get so many. <laughs> My dumbass was excited about a fucking almost 500 view video. No, wait. This wasn't my first channel. <laughs> oh, no. I need to look at. Okay. The plot thickens. So I was, I don't know, probably fucking 13. And I made a YouTube channel where I ripped off 
a fucking flash animation. I recorded oh the screen, I put it on there. And I also fucking recorded the first... This was back when fucking Naruto Shippuden first started. <laughs> I took my basic-ass camera and recorded the fucking openings for the first and second season on my fucking IMAX screen <laughs> with the fucking camera. And I just fucking looked it up for no for shits and giggles. <laughs> the first season opening of Naruto with that shitty recording, the fucking Heroes Come Back song, thirty eight thousand views, and still is up for some fucking reason. Fuck! Amazing. I know, right? What the fuck? <laughs> I'm so. Oh, I made my first animation there too. That's only got eighty views. <laughs> Here, I'll, I'll share this with you guys. <laughs> you, you ready to see my first uh, fucking animation on a computer? Oh boy. It hurts. This is exciting. This is exciting. It fucking hurts. <laughs> oh, it hurts. Oh, it really, really hurts. <laughs> there was something this, called huh? Pivot Studio or whatever, and you could do like... Can I post this to chat? It? Oh god, no. Please no. Oh, Please okay. Don't, no. I mean, it's in your no, Discord. Uh, yeah, but nobody checks my Discord anyway. It's private. Oh, okay. Oh, um, <laughs> yeah, you can see that channel, too, and see that I'm not lying about the fucking Naruto fucking recording. That's pretty <laughs> oh, with good. With the camera. <laughs> my fucking iMac. What the? Whoa, 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 okay, hold on. The hold worst on. part is you can okay. fucking see me holding the camera when it gets really dark. <laughs> okay, hold on. Yeah, hit me. Yeah. I have questions. Let me just explain mm -hmm. what I saw. Oh. I saw you a show, stick Okay, figure. wait, you, hold on, hold on, hold on. You can show off the video, but don't let them see the, uh, the name. That's all. How am I gonna do that? I don't know. That was a loud noise of a shotgun. So, <laughs> let, me just, let me just- Let me just describe what happened in this video. So, the stick figures, like, stand around, legs spread, it, like, does a 360 with its arms, pulls out a gun, shoots a guy who's doing a dolphin dive, another stick figure dolphin diving towards the first stick figure, shoots him, the bullet, like, lobs in the most Donkey Kong throwing ass banana motherfucking animation, hits the man in the back of the head, the guy drops straight down, and then the first stick figure gets tackled by an elephant. I didn't say it was good. Oh, no, but I have several questions. <laughs> Hold on, I need to see if I can find my first stop motion animation. I, I... stop motion. Whoa. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. So, so I don't for me, get it. I there was nothing to get. No, there was I literally can't... fucking nothing to get, noob. I don't know what you're looking for. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you're looking for. But um, I'm a man of substance, gamma. <sighs> I got, I got one, this is actually before I actually made any videos, I went to a, um, a summer camp called, uh, Cyber Camp at, at a university near where I, where I moved to, when I moved to Florida. Okay. And they had a bunch of different things for, like, game design and whatnot. It was all basic as shit. And they were like, hey, do you want to learn how to do stop motion animation? And I'm like, alright, cool. So... Let me just show you what the anim this you can show. I I don't mind. I actually met my uh one of my friends from <laughs> Night Lorenzo. I, I met one of my friends from uh online uh at this camp. There you go. That's the if it fucking loads. There we go. Perfect. Yep. I spent a very long time on that. Here you go, chat. Oh. Uh -huh. Oh, it super hurts. <laughs> oh my god. Here, I'm just gonna embarrass myself the rest of this, this recording. <laughs> what the fuck was wrong with me? <laughs> Wait, what is this music? Oh, it's like some shitty cover of, uh, it's like some, like, uh, punk cover of, uh, oh, what was it? I don't remember. Oh, wait, no, that was the ending song. <laughs> yeah, but your hands are showing up in the thing! I know, I didn't say we were good at it. It took me a whole afternoon to do this, okay? I remember doing claymation. I hated claymation. 
Oh my god. Gamma, your mushroom top head. Hey, listen, that was back before I grew my hair out, okay? I, I, I went to know. fucking Catholic school my whole fucking life. And they're like, you can't grow your hair past a certain amount. So I'm like, fuck the man. Wait, I got to go to public you? school. Yeah, you're not allowed to What's have the your hair. hair restri- Dude, oh, restri- yeah. High school. Oh. High school literally had a leprechaun as its mascot. That's ridiculous. No, no, fucking my school, our hair had to be short. What? Uh, we had to wear uh, khakis and a fucking yeah. polo shirt. Yeah, that's fair. We had that too. But we had to have our hair a certain length. Like, if it was going down at any point, you had to cut it. What? Otherwise, okay, that's more extreme than mine. I thought I had a super Catholic school. Yeah, no, that, it was shitty. So I'm like, you know, fuck it. I'm going to public school now. I'm going to grow my hair out. And then I didn't stop. <laughs> and that got raunchy gamma. Oh, yeah, I, I say fuck a lot because of that, too. <laughs> Literally because of that. I mean, I probably. I mean, isn't it like yeah. a thing where like you want to do things that you're told not to do? Of course. It's, there you go, bam, easy. <laughs> as soon as I went to public school, I was cursing like a motherfucker. Uh-huh. I mean, um, um, heck. Sorry. See, I went off on a tangent because I'm tired. Leave me alone. <laughs> uh. Better you than me, I guess. Come on, noob. Show me some of your embarrassing old shit. Oh, you can just go look up YouTube.com slash ProPokeNoob. I'm not hiding this right fucking Listen, there. I already watched that shit. That's all I have. That's all I did. Damn it. Damn it. Like, I literally, um, I started from, from, my, from my YouTube days with Showdown. Or, sorry, PO, Pokemon Online, when that was the way. Oh. And then... I just went from there. Like, my most viewed is the, uh, is the episode of Minish Cap. Like, I know this, because we were looking at this many times. But, like, my most viewed was the uh, thing with Minish Cap, because it was a tutorial on how to get all the sword techniques. Oh. But that only had, like, 1,600. I'm not Raz over here, where she's fucking smashing 10k <laughs> at 10 years old. Your, your most viewed video is that one with the spinning. There's yeah. the thumbnail. That's spin, uh, <laughs> spinning, spinning. spinning. Yeah. Man, I love that fucking series. Every time, it's just swing, swing. Can I? Can I just get the opening real quick? No, just let me relive this. Ladies and gentlemen, swing. This is Pro Poke Noob back today with another episode of Legend of Zelda: The Minish Cap. Because I never said the name right. I love it. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. What did you say? The Legend of Zelda: The Minish Cap. Oh my goodness. Yeah. One, or I would one, say Legend of Zelda instead of The Legend of Zelda. I would always mess up one of the two. One day we'll get the ending of fucking Oracle of <laughs> Ages. Oh, you know, that's dead, man. That's super dead. No! <laughs> they think of magical tactics. Magical tactics play, is dead. No. Oh. Wait, which one? What if I played it through to get back to where you were? I mean, maybe. It was a good okay, game. Cool. I could yeah. just do Oracle of Seasons, you know. Like, live. I mean, you could, but then you'd have to put it on your YouTube, and I'd I'd have to make you new thumbnails. No, see, the thing is, like, I I don't know. I much prefer the Let's Plays live now. Like, even watching you know people, what? I prefer it live. I don't see why you don't just. I mean, if somebody had the time to like cut it up into like parts, maybe like half hour parts, and cut out like the breaks and stuff, you could just put that. It's free free YouTube content. It doesn't hurt. Yeah, I know. I I don't know. I was. <laughs> I was taught not to just upload YouTube like that, but a lot of people seem to do it, and I see more and more people suggesting it, but I'm sitting there going, like, there, there was a time when they'd be like, no, no, don't put your VODs up on YouTube because that's bad for it, ooh, what? and stuff like that. Now people are like, yeah, fucking do it. I'm like, I don't... It's just sitting there, though. Like, y- you could put it there. Like, I mean, I know I... I, know I rely on the archives for for twitch i know it's less accessible Mm -hmm. so i know like youtube probably better in that sense for it but i don't know i just i could do it i don't know i just don't feel like putting everything up on youtube be worth it you know what i mean i mean not that i get you because it's content content is content no no the only bad content is no content so 
I'm really bad at content. <laughs> it's not like I'm making anything off YouTube, dude. I still have three oh. cents sitting in my in my uh, thing from nine your years AdSense? ago. Your AdSense. Got demonetized. Your fuck your AdSense. No, my YouTube pay. Like yeah, literally AdSense. when they were is that was that just AdSense? I thought they actually paid me three cents. Uh, AdSense is like the term for it. If I remember, okay, yeah, I, I, have three, I have three cents before I got demonetized. Gee, I wonder why I got demonetized. I don't know, but I mean, like, oh, if you do like a playthrough, like Skies of Arcadia, I don't know. I'd probably watch it on YouTube. Like, would I just <laughs> upload all the playthroughs that I do? Like, I wouldn't do like I would, the daily ones. I would do the run. playthroughs. Like, I know you're doing your speedruns and stuff. You can do that on Twitch. It doesn't hurt to take the the playthrough playthroughs. Oh, I mean, I am going to do the playthroughs on Twitch. Yeah, no, I'm saying, like, it doesn't hurt to take the playthroughs and put them on the YouTubes. Where the hell did Gulliver go? You could also, uh, like, Where chop up was. some highlights and edit them together. Yeah, that's too. You don't want to just straight up put up the entire VODs. Yeah, but you assume that I have time and the ability to edit. What? Just open your clips. Oh, yeah, there's not enough. There's not enough clips of, of my playthroughs to do that. I mean... <laughs> There's definitely not enough of those. Oh, well, I mean, I see a whole page of clips right here. Yeah, and what are the dates on those, Gamma? Um, <laughs> I don't know, three days ago? Uh-huh. That wasn't a playthrough. I Skies of Arcadia so. actually had quite a bit, and I did Why does it have to be a playthrough? <laughs> oh, are you saying you like the weekly highlights of my... Because you were saying to put the playthroughs no, up. It doesn't have to be weekly, like maybe a monthly thing. Well, yeah, put the playthroughs up. Why not? Don't hurt. Oh my god. Fuck, are you, are you waiting for me to ask you so I can edit them? Is that is that what yes. you're asking? Fucking edit them for me. I'll pay you. Well, we'll, we'll talk about it. No, you're not going to pay me. <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. I'm going to make you do it for free. I'm not going to make you pay me, so fuck off. Oh my god, this is we'll, going We'll old. fight about this later. <laughs> this Who's fighting? fighting? Above. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Now I'm lost. See, Rasnos. I, I feel like she's just popping in. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, I feel old. I feel. I looked at my... I looked how long ago that one video was, and I'm just like, 12 years ago, that's over a decade. What the fuck? Gamma, do you, have you seen what, like, nine years old or nine years ago me look like? Yeah, like, now. Like now, now, exactly. Now years ago. I have no idea of this concept of people. And I, and I mean, I don't want to jinx it. Knock on all the fucking wood I could find in the vicinity of my desk. Mm -hmm. But uh, literally, I've looked the same since I've been 13. Maybe I've aged a little more now, but not in, a, like, not in an age like I'm older looking now. But um, like when I go look at my old videos, I go, man, it's like I just built this yesterday or some shit because it doesn't feel any different. I missed the first star again. I hate my life. Anyways. Right. Um, I don't know, like, you see, you, you saw how I looked just now when I was four, I think it was 13 or 14. And look at me now. But you know what? I think I cheat because I hit puberty early. And when I started YouTube, I was 20. So I was like already in my full form. I was in my final form. You guys were still like maturing and... Going through all that crazy teenage shit, Ooh, so. Baby. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you weren't even a tween. You were like a toddler. I wasn't. <laughs> uh... Wait, young lady, what were you doing on YouTube at age 10? My dad was, my dad supported it. He was it like, was yeah, sure, baby. I was like, I want to make a YouTube channel. And he was like, yeah, sure. <laughs> Man, <laughs> he's like, I could put you, I could put you in front of the tube, puts her in front of the TV. She just starts making videos. <laughs> I'm not no, gonna we lie. We have like an old camera. We have like an old video oh, camera. Oh, so nice. That. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I probably would have done the same thing at that age if I had a computer that was connected to the internet more than just fucking AOL. God, when did Man. I don't know when. Yeah, like, we had shitty gateway computers with AOL dial-up, and I'm just like, nice. oh, we charge you for the internet. If that wasn't the case, then my parents would have been probably cool with it. But yeah, no, that... I could barely play games on that thing. I don't know. Wait, Raz, did I ever tell you how I recorded my first videos? 
something about putting your microphone next to a speaker for audio or yeah. something. Yeah. Yeah. That's how I recorded my first. That's how I recorded that whole Minish Cap Let's Play was with my head leaning in to a mic or into the speaker so that my mic could pick it up because I was I used what was it called? Oh, my God. What was my first recording software? Camtasia? Uh, Camtasia. No, it was it was a it was a cheap. Was it Camtasia? No, it was like this cheap named one. I had no idea what it was. Hold on. Was it, Cam- was it not Sony Movie Camtasia? Studio 10? Because because that's what I used. No, I, my dad didn't want me to use anything like that. And we were looking at it together. Was it Camtasia? No, it couldn't have been Camtasia. Man, back in the day, Sony Vegas used to be the thing. Oh yeah. my god, yeah. That we couldn't, was... I couldn't run it because we couldn't get a free one. <laughs> I, cu- I couldn't afford it, so I asked my parents for a, a video editing software. And they're like, here, $80 on this shitty fucking uh, Sony Movie HD Studio. And I'm like, cool, at least I can put my videos in HD instead of fucking whatever I was using with Windows Movie Maker. Oh my god. I don't know, that, that, god, I remember, Windows Movie Maker. I didn't even know that you could do HD videos with that. It's, it's so stupid that you can't. It's so weird, man. I feel old, what the fuck? Oh, uh, YouTube was a thing. I think I yeah I got Sony Vegas when I was I went through this phase where I really liked watching Smash Bros. Machinima. <laughs> if you guys have ever watched Smash Bros. Machinima, I I did sort of through a show called Sanity Not Included. Oh, because Dex. They did a lot uh, of yeah. They did a lot of those. Yeah, but. Uh, I think it was his name was like Mega Blue Blaster or something. I'm sad because he took all of his Machinima videos down. No, no, he didn't do that. Oh my god, Machinima did. Oh yeah, yeah. Machinima took everything off their fucking channel and didn't Spin. tell any of the creators. No, but like Mega Mega Blaster was like another creator who was like, "Hi, I'm gonna focus on oh. game dev," and right. then he made all of his videos private or took them down or something. Uh, I that's forget, fucking. But- but I'm That's sad about that. I don't get why people do. I have another YouTuber that I used to. I got. I, I used to watch a lot of different YouTubers. Mm-hmm. Why do people take it off? Just leave it on. It just because you're not going to be doing it anymore. Just leave it as an archive or something. You know. I don't know. Like, I, don't know. I, I, I watch personal thing. I guess. Yeah, I guess. I don't. I don't know. I was gonna I, say I can give some insight on that because I know a lot of people that did that. Mm-hmm. Why? Yeah, please tell me because I don't. I don't get it because there's. I have a couple people that literally just took down their channels and I can't watch those videos ever again. I mean, it's the same thing with your old channels, right? Where you don't want other people to see what you used to do for them. It was like, I know one guy was for work. He was afraid that they would ever find him at work and they see what he was doing and probably like judge him over that forever. But, uh, which is bullshit because your personal life should not be affecting your work life if it never spills over in any way. But exactly. I mean, mm-hmm. I I understand him feeling self conscious. Like that's fair. But um, the other thing that I know for some people is like you know they, they especially if it's a sore spot because you got to think right. Like like just picture this as a creator. One day you just realize I'm not making it, right? And you look at all the work that you've done, and you don't want to fall for the time sink fallacy, or you've all, maybe you've fallen for the time sink fallacy, and you're like, man, I've put in so much. And this is just a dumpster fire, right? So you just get so frustrated at your work that you just rather not it, just you use it as a moving on sort of thing. Similar to like when you burn the like the pictures you have with your ex, or or like you know when when someone passes and you kind of leave all the stuff at the grave sort of thing. It's it's just like uh, the kind of like burning a bridge. Yeah, yeah. I know a lot of Poketubers at least did that because. The way Poketubing went was really tragic, in a sense. Like, it really sucked the way Poketubing went, which is Poketube, Poke YouTubers, for those who don't know what that means. But, uh, like, it was just, it was so sad the way the community got so split and a lot of people just got no exposure. And I mean, but it's the way it's going to go. You're going to get the few that are the pros and the best ones. They're going to get all the, all the views and the rest that are just going to become what you see, like with Twitch, right? We got those top. You got that top 1% and then the other 99% are just kind of trying to get something, right? 
So that's just the way it goes. But for yeah. a lot of people, you don't want it archived because at least with live content, it's not going to stick for the most part. Unless you do something like me where you're archiving, but yeah, unless you wanted to, yeah, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I, I just, it's just like I get that, but there are people that are enjoying it. So why take well, it away? Is the question. But the thing is, it's not about the. But then you also have to think. Well, if they're taking it down, do they care about you enjoying it anymore? Truly, think yeah, about that. Right? Like it could float out there. I have the genderless Pokemon video out there, which I should absolutely dumpster. <laughs> people find it an absolute hoot, and I'm like, I don't know why. It's completely terrible and <laughs> riddled with probably lies. Oh no, shit! Look up. Hold on. Um, but it's like you, that. That really tells you about a person, in my opinion. You know, if you burn it for personal reasons, like maybe you had a friend that you really linked with, and it didn't work out very well with them, then yeah, I can understand you kind of having that soft spot or that sore spot. But then I also think about. The people who are like, oh, I didn't succeed. It just reminds me of my failures. And I sit there going, so what were you in it for then? You know, like, were you were you waiting just to become successful? And that's how you were going to get through type of thing? Because in my mind, if it hurts you that hard and you don't accept that history with you or you just don't like you don't have to leave a legacy, right? Not everybody has to leave a legacy or anybody has to leave a legacy. But, you know, it really makes you think going, well, if you just got upset, are you just like that person where sitting there and you're waiting for the follows and if the follows don't come, you're just like, well, screw this. I'm not doing it. It makes you think, right? I'm not trying to make anybody yeah. second guess them canceling their own content, right? Your personal reasons are your own, of course. But there is that consideration where there are people who could just see it because it's YouTube. It's an archive, right? How did people come across my videos out of nowhere? Well, they literally looked up something and it happened to pop up and they may or may not have clicked on it accidentally and liked it or they actually tried to click on it and liked it or maybe they clicked on it just to hate on it right i had the i had that yeah. too but you know at the end of the day why do you keep it up do you keep it up because you want to leave a legacy because you feel like it's a good kind of ego for you do you want to leave it up for just in case somebody finds it maybe you want to pick it up later or is it actually you were scarred that much by how much you tried that you just can't stand to look at it anymore yeah, I guess I can get that. That sucks, though. I don't know. See, I use my channel as bait as if one day I ever become a Twitch partner, I will reveal what this channel is because there's no way I want to do that right now. There's Man. No <laughs> how many subscribers does that channel have? Huh? How, much, how many subscribers does that channel have? Like 175. Oh, never mind. I was gonna yeah. say, like, if you had like a couple thousand based yeah, no, on the no. video. No, 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 I, no. I know they used. I don't know if they still do it. They used to do like Twitch partners over, based on how like how many YouTube subscribers you have on your channel. Interesting. Um, it used to be a thing. I know that back at least back in like I think they introduced Twitch partners in like 2014. If I remember, I I know I've been following the site since like it was a baby but like i think it took them a couple of years to get partnership as a thing i don't remember it's it's been a long time i'm sure the internet has a better track record of understanding what's going on with that it's called not room <laughs> it's called <laughs> yeah, the, the, the point, the like point i was trying to make earlier was that there was a video on that channel I used to watch, that was like a tutorial on how to make Smash Bros. Machinima. And that oh. video was the reason that I asked for Sony Vegas one year for my birthday. And that's how oh I started they, because they learning about Sony video Vegas. editing. Huh? Oh my god. Because they said Sony Vegas? <laughs> yeah, because he was like, yeah, I use Sony Vegas. And I was like, oh shoot. That's Here the go. go. That's the secret. You can it, learn it. It'll make the videos by itself. That that at least that's what how I felt when I got fucking movie studio. <laughs> like that that was the big thing was the editing software. It was either that or fucking Adobe Premiere. But you'd always hear people complaining about Premiere and never about Vegas. I don't know. Fucking Brawl was pretty good for Machinable though. I know oh, a lot of people. Sure. Then there's like Brawl Box. I don't even exactly know what it is. I know it's just something that's not the game question mark 
that people I use? Guess. You're off the game question mark. Sure. <laughs> it's like the game, but not. I don't know what Brawl Box is. Google has a much very good explanation of what, what it is. I think I it's really that. cool the stuff that people. <laughs> what? Do that. Google knows shit. <laughs> yeah, Google, Google knows stuff. Damn. That's surprising. I probably sounded like I just had a stroke or something. You it's sound okay. like you were you're gonna backpedal on what you just talked about. Uh, no, man, uh, we need more machinima, right? No, we we it's do. That age is dead, man. That age is dead. no. That age. No, is we need dead it. Dead because like they're like, I see people occasionally like start machinima and then they drop it like after a little bit, and I'm like, yeah, because oh. it's dead. No, it's because it's a lot of work. Cool. Yeah, it's. Life happens. Have you ever tried it's a machinima really move? Uh, I went. On, I went on a on a beta one. What? I, oh. I was on PMP beta. I don't know what that means. Huh? Pokemon Spit beta. What is that? What? <laughs> okay, so back in the day, the way that you got exposure with the community was like a machinima, but it was called Pokemon Pit. And what that was? Wait, it was a Pokemon Pit. Yeah, it was PMP, oh. yeah, Pokemon Pit. And basically, it was where you would bring your video and you would show it to a giant group of of Pokemon players who followed, like, the biggest people. So the biggest players or the big or bigger YouTubers that were up and coming would be running the Pokemon Pit. And you'd submit your video and they'd just basically play it. Um, or they put it on their channel for you. So it was basically an advertising, almost like, a, like an agency of sorts where you put it up and people would guess whether or not you were... Or they would basically follow you if they liked you so i did the beta version because they didn't allow me to go on the big channel because you had to be a certain like size youtube and stuff like that and a certain good player and i was neither of those so they started up a beta one to bring like these jank ass players in who had no commentary skills or anything like that even though most of the people on the main one didn't have any commentary skills they were just good at pokemon that's what people want to watch but um I ended up going on one of those and then submitting a video, and uh, it turned out okay. I super messed up the commentary, though. When I say machinima, I mean, like, the, the media form, not necessarily the channel that takes other people's work and spotlights it. More, like, you, you know how, like, you... you I retract all move. statements from this conversation. Continue. No, it's, a, it's okay! No, no, I agree with you. No, we do not need another machinima, machinima. <laughs> Fuck that. They fucked over so many people. Mm -hmm. It was a mess. Yeah. Fucking. They. Uh... It's really not that hard to run. You just have to have. You have to keep people accountable. That's it. They get a backups. That's all it is. Yeah, but they didn't. They had a. Re they had really oh, shitty management. And honestly, oh, I remember the stories. Anybody that was fucking partnered with Machinima will talk so much fucking shit about that fucking. The company. As it was. It's fucking garbage. But yeah, Machinima is in like the. You know how they would have like models moving and they'd have people talking and interacting yeah. and stuff? That that's machinima. Like making a movie oh. within yeah. a video game. Like using like, the video game to make a movie, basically. Yeah. A, a big one was Smash Brothers, yeah, Halo yeah, yeah, okay. Three, fucking They even made like a machinima mode for fucking Halo Reach, if I remember right. Something like that. Oh, so I'm a dumb. Okay, you're not a dumb. It's it's easy to assume that that is what I mean by machinima I mean, because it was. Such I only a big knew thing. that. I only knew about machinima because that's what people would talk about with putting up Pokemon videos. I'm like, okay, yeah, so because machinima that was the only. Yeah, no, they were an agency that took basically back in the early days of YouTube. From what I remember, ninety percent of people went with machinima as like a contractor. Yes, to themselves partners. Yeah. So Machinima would take a large amount of their money that they made, but they could make money. This was back before YouTube allowed people to monetize themselves. So nowadays when you hear people say, oh, I got demonetized, it's them specifically getting that money. And YouTube's the middleman between the ads and the YouTuber. Right. Machinima was, Machinima was fired. They would take, like, it was like a 60-40 contract in favor of Machinima, and it was a fucking mess, 90%. What the hell? Gross. Yeah. Yeah, that's it was a gross. That's disgusting. a gross mix. Yeah, no, it, that's why that's people... Twisted. That's one of the reasons, along with the fact that I think, if I remember right, like, 
if they did a machinima or something they posted a video on machinima machinima got like 90 percent of the video i remember hearing that oh my god i remember hearing um someone in the community had that had that issue where they like yeah. partnered up with them and then they found out because they did review videos or something like that and mm-hmm. then every time they mentioned that they had to answer to that i'm like what the fuck that's ridiculous oh yeah because they they were basically your manager at that point that's what the i don't yeah I don't, that's gross man that's that's nasty what? the moment that anyone has control over your content through those types of means are just so sketchy to me mm-hmm. yeah i'm trying to remember like there was a term for like an mcm or something like that i don't i don't remember but they were basically the person's manager as a partner so they managed the person's partnership along with what they made and how they made it um if you put something up you had to go through your your handler if i remember right man early youtube was fucked wow (laughs) it's still fucked (laughs) but at least people are technically making more money now and can fend for themselves because the the fucking terms of service is a lot clearer hmm. than it used to be. I don't know. I miss annotations. Same! <laughs> like, they took them why out can't because I they didn't work on mobile, right? Like, that was why they took them out? Yeah. It, because they were lazy and they didn't want to put it on mobile, yeah. It's so fucking dumb. Why not just make it for mobile? I want to click the video to go to this... Po- I, it fucking ruined any kind of video that, like, depended on... I know Shane Dawson did, like, a, a series where it was, like, My Virtual Escape or whatever the fuck. And he, he had to click on fucking annotations to get around. I remember in Standing Not Included, there was always a, a part of the video that was like, Hey, do I do this or do I do this? And then it'd go to an unlisted video and be like, Hey, you did this. <clears throat> That's interactive. Dude, I remember back in the day when, like, Chugga Conroy had, like, these awesome elaborate like navigation menus for i think i think one of them was for like it might have been like super mario sunshine or something but it had like this was it sunshine he had like there are let's plays that had like different videos that had different like video menus that relied on annotations to go and watch how to do like the specific things in the walkthrough of the game and it was so cool to look at and now all of that is broken and i'm really sad there's that. I know they had like little menus. Like some people had menus at the beginning of the video. Like, hey, do you want to see the next video? Click this annotation while the video's oh, going yeah, on yeah, yeah, to move to the next video. Or you you missed the last episode. Oh shit! Press the back button, motherfucker. You, you know the videos that were literally just called ad annotations. Mm-hmm. I fucking miss those. <laughs> I miss those so uh, much when you just have random people writing random annotations on a video. And it was fun uh, after a period of time just like watching the video and seeing all the random things people have written throughout the entire thing. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, uh, so good. This whole episode's been a fucking blast from the past. Now I'm just depressed. Nostalgia <laughs> nerds. This is my t- this is my quarter life crisis. Oh my god. I'm almost 25. I feel like my life is ending. Oh, no. Well, that's going to be for different reasons outside of us. Uh, yeah, of that's because I have about YouTube. That, that's because I have shooting health habits and stuff. <laughs> no, fuck, man. YouTube. You can't recreate YouTube. Sure you can. No, you, you can't, though. You sure can't you can. recreate the exact feeling of old YouTube back when it first started. Oh, hey, you can get paid to do this. Oh, shit. I want to do this. Pay me to do this. Yeah, but that's because it was new, videos. though. Exactly. You can't recreate that. Well, there's no, but you don't need to. What, why do you need to recreate that? Why do you need that I'm feeling not, again? I'm not saying you need to. I'm just saying it's oh, looking saying back on to. the experience. You can't recreate that, and it's ah. kind of sad. Eh. I don't know. I don't fucking yeah. know, man. I'm just tired, hurting, and I want to go back to the old days where I used to make YouTube videos for fun. Oh my god. Yeah, you now can't maybe really I will. instantaneously create nostalgia. Sadly. Yeah. I know. It sucks. I don't know. Maybe I'll make YouTube videos again. Fuck it. Who knows? <coughs> Ooh. I'll pull up. I'll, I'll dust off my old why I was Paper Mario fucking good in the beginning all happened shit. I had a script. 
It was a page. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Wait, wait, do you still have it? Oh yeah, it's in my Google Drive somewhere. Oh nice. I, I did a whole thing where actually like Tim was helping me out with some. <laughs> I have I have a whole folder of scripts for ideas. They're really bad. <laughs> it sounds cool, even yeah. if they are bad. <laughs> I'm bad at writing. I can't get myself to do it. Mm. Oh, we'll see. Well, bad at writing and not doing it are two different things. You know what? You're right, Tim. There. Write all my scripts for me. There you go. Um, That's putting people to work. I don't know. What else? I'm trying to think. Man, <laughs> there was this one YouTube like layout that was really cool. It it was it had something to do with like rappers or something like that. It, it was like it wasn't the first YouTube channel, but the one after that. I think you could do like fucking HTML coding on it, and I I fucking tried doing so much of that shit all over the fucking place. Hmm. That sounds really think, cool. I'm trying to remember. Let me see. YouTube rapper channel. He's he's gonna get like little layout. Like, Not that like kind of like rapper. Little the layout. <laughs> I can't think of, of rappers. Wow, my brain hurts. Yo, I like listening to Little J and Eminescence. Eminescence? Eminescence. <laughs> Is that like when fucking Eminem and fucking... Yeah. What's her name? Fucking get Eminescence. together. Eminescence? No, her, her name... Isn't, that, isn't her name like Amy Lee or some shit? I don't fucking oh, remember. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Something like that. Old YouTube layouts. Where's the fuck? I miss customizing my channel page. Yeah. Those were the days. It was fun. Those were fun. And now yeah. those days are gone. <laughs> Everything's <laughs> old. You're old. I'm so old. <laughs> oh, no. That's, that's, that's Gamma's theme song. You're old. <laughs> uh, fucking PTSD old. What? Oh, no. <laughs> oh no, my keys are getting oh, stuck. Oh shit. No. We we should do one episode where it's just nothing but having to do it in a vocal tone that sounds like singing. Oh no. Oh, it hurts! This isn't <laughs> what I'm talking about. This is the original YouTube fucking channel layout. Oh, oh it's so bad. <laughs> oh god, why? Why would you make that? Oh, Live and learn? No, fucking look at that shit, noob. Look at that. Give me learn. It's so. <laughs> what the hell is this? It is the old format YouTube channel where you could you'd have to go to the channel to subscribe. You'd have the fucking description and all the stats with the fucking picture in the left, and then you'd have like playlists and videos and shit on the right. Oh, oh it was so bad. I, I feel like I kind of remember this. Jam. If you remember that, <laughs> I kind of remember you... the whole like putting, um, what's it called? I remember putting the whole, like you customize your entire page when Raz mentioned that. I forgot that was actually a thing. It's been so yeah. long. Um, oh, oh, here we go. I think is this it? No, don't click on the link. Do it. Uh, no, Clicky I'm trying clicky. to find. Here, I guess this one works. This is this is what I'm thinking of, I think. Well, surprisingly enough, it's a YouTuber I watched. Oh, my, oh yeah, this see, one. Oh, this this old weird. thing. It was weird. I like this one better than the other one, though. Like, I think this was called, like, the rapper uh, YouTube. It, it, it's more... Uh, how, what would you, how would you explain this to, a, to an audio... Uh, audience, because I don't oh, know. The overlay is around the content, like it actually, in like it, it in um, it, it kind of like wrapped content. everything into one single window that yeah, you can customize. Content. Basically, yeah. imagine your player is in the middle of all of the advertisement you would want to put on your overlay. Yeah, basically, 
And then you can go to different tabs and stuff. I like this one better than the older one because the older one obviously was, you know, didn't look good. Older? Yeah, shit, you're right. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, man, fucking, I don't know. It's weird seeing this evolve. Because originally they, oh, 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 this is how it looked. Oh, this is this is kind of how mine looks. You could change like the opacity and shit on the fucking the layouts and whatnot. Yeah, oh, where's this? That. Hold on, Pasta. Bam, there you go. Oh my god, mine was a mess because I do not understand fucking color combinations, or oh at least god. I didn't That's as a kid. That's what mine looked like too, honestly. Yeah, uh, with like the fucking like different colors on top of it. Like I had like green and fucking blue, yep. and it was ugly as shit. <laughs> Did you oh, guys? Okay. Did you guys ever hang out in like the chat sections of various YouTube channels? Because they would have like the little chat thing. They had like the comments on the page, like on the oh, channel yeah. page. Yeah. Yeah, fucking! I did that once for a YouTuber I really liked, and I don't know why I did. Because <laughs> nobody <laughs> fucking wrote in it. Oh, uh, here we go. This is an even better looking image. Here we go. Bam. Oh, Look at that. Look at that. Look at that right there. Oh, it's so bad. That's some classic YouTube. You could show off all of your subscribers. Oh, yeah. Everybody subscribed to you. It had, like, all the the stats and stuff, like, in its own separate thing. Fucking, you could say if you were a, a director or a, a, um, producer or whatever the fuck. It's so stupid. There's no point in it. Oh my god. It hurts looking down this path. So why are you Fuck looking? It. I don't know. Let's keep going. Further down the rabbit hole. Oh Woo-hoo. god. Here we go. What else was cool about old YouTube? Oh, stars. Remember stars? No. Remember, remember, remember no five stars? Rate oh, five stars. System. Rate five stars and comment. But remember video Wait, but- responses? Oh, oh, oh my god! Dude. Yes, I do! Especially when I had to do one to enter a contest! Oh my god, I remember those. There are video responses? Yeah, yeah you can respond you to videos with up- videos. Yeah. What? Oh my god, it was so bad! Yeah, you bad. could literally upload a video as a response to another one. Oh my god. I must have literally come in. Probably after that. You, pr- you probably after. came in. With the rapper channel after they swapped to fucking likes and yeah. shit. Yeah. yeah this is this is what it originally looked like. Oh wow. gee. Back in my AOL browser. <laughs> Back in those days I used to just watch stick figure animation videos. Holy oh God. that that's why I made the fucking pivot animation, because like, this <laughs> is cool. <laughs> it's fucking cool. I wanna do it. It was cool. I then proceeded to make a stick figure animation where a fucking stick figure shoots a guy and then gets beat up by an elephant. <laughs> yeah, that was beautiful. With a lob bullet, of all things. Oh, yeah, with a with a la- with a fucking loud ass <laughs> bullet. Elephant no, does the elephant it, noise. It was like a limp shot. Oh yeah. Oh it god. More like a, it looked more like a loogie than a gunshot. There's a reason I don't fucking draw <laughs> or animate anymore. <laughs> Because oh somebody God, told wait. you that it looked like shit and you're terrible? That just reminded me, I have a stop motion animation channel. <laughs> oh my God. This one, I need, hold on, let me see if I can find it. Oh my God, wait. You guys keep going, I'm, I'm looking for this. Damn it. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm just sitting here listening to two people get absolutely lost in everything that I have no idea what happens. Back in the old days of the YouTube. When I was a kid. Raz, a babby old person. <laughs> old babby. Oh, uh, back in my days in 2012. <laughs> Jesus. Let's see. Okay, Raz. Back no, in the all early 2000s. Mid 2000s. Let me tell you about the days when we played Pokemon off a goddamn webcam, like recording the game replays i didn't do that because i couldn't afford that but oh no i watched some of those plus i like playing on po i see i was was definitely a po Uh, pokemon showdown guy for sure 
I because I didn't want to. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh. It hurts. Because he didn't want to. Ah. Wait, this might be an oarfish. We get an oarfish? Oh, oh my god. Yes! <laughs> nice. Amazing. More ore for the ore fish room. Um, but yeah, no, I, I, I just prefer to be able to jump into battles faster and have time to sit there. My internet was also terrible, so uh, okay, I didn't want to, have to sit around and wait for battles to happen and stuff like that. So how does that have four hundred and thirty views? What the fuck? <laughs> for me, yeah, I used just to accept watch... you're a good content creator. Yeah, you're good. You're good content. No, creator. I'm not. You're this good whole creator. Video... The, oh. No, not this video. Sorry, hold on, hold on, oh. hold on. Oh. This fucking video. Wait, what the that's fuck? A, that's it? a picture. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so hello, stormtrooper. <laughs> I have a video that I remember making. I I bought some Legos, some Star Wars ass Legos, and um, I decided to make random Lego clips. Episode one, <laughs> four hundred thirty views. Fucking. Windows. Maker. Oh, that was definitely Windows Movie Maker. I had a fucking regular ass shitty camera in which I decided, hey, I learned how to make stop motion. I'm gonna do that. It's so blurry. It's so fucking blurry. You can barely tell that's a fucking cl- uh, stormtrooper. Oh, I can tell. It's hard not to tell, man. I mean, it's not that hard. Oh, shoot, it's that song. Wow. So is this like I su- before TikTok? <laughs> oh my god, what the fuck? I've made end credits with fucking... Oh my god. <laughs> These end credits too? Holy crap, dude. Oh my god, the end credits. It It's just mostly silent video for the fucking clay one. And then it cuts to fucking When You Were Young by the Killers. A <laughs> hundred times more loud than the sound effects. Oh, it hurts so much. Oh, I mean, I'm I rem- at its I'm finest. deleting these. I'm fucking deleting these. Get it, get it out of here. <laughs> get it out of my face. I right, remember Tom. those yeah. the best videos when you'd watch people where they just choose random songs. I didn't understand like the concept of outros, so I'm just yeah. sitting there and I just start hearing like Green Day or stuff like that exiting. I'm just oh going, yeah. What does this have to do with Pokemon? Oh, like this is before concept of outros. This was before they did the whole copyright shit. Yeah, I know. That's why I just people I can just understand. drop it because they can't make music. Jesus, what the fuck kind of thing? What they're gonna put credits with no music? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they need to have something. Man, I got this fucking ripped ass fucking killer song from LimeWire. I might as well use that. Oh, LimeWire. I, I didn't do that, by the way. I didn't. I. I was a good boy. I never used LimeWire oh, except that one we, time. Oh, I'll I'll flat out admit it because we got we got letters. We got written letters from uh-huh. Fox. From Fox. Oh man! Oh, hey, they Fox. sent us a really angry letter saying, "Stop it! You're stealing our crap." And my dad's oh. like, "Download, download." <laughs> oh fuck, dude! I'm calling the police. Oh yeah, I just found that in I I. I found that in my looked out things. No, yeah, um, what are they gonna do? Call the police? Well, they sent us, like, three letters, and then as my dad continued to be a bad boy, um, they just stopped sending letters. We're like, okay, well, I guess they gave up and didn't really care. He's not gonna do it. He's not gonna listen. They're not not taking action. What a terrible thing. Oh, Raz, I'm a monster. I I found two two right next to each other. Look at, oh, look, at oh, look at that! Look at that! Look at it! <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I I also forgot that uh, when if you were a partner, partnered with somebody, you could have a fucking header with like links and stuff oh, in it yeah. to go For to your those different who don't sites. Know, they're, they're looking at Chugga Conroy's old overlays. Yeah, I I wish we could show this, but it it it's the old rapper um oh, uh channel layout thing. And can't I just forgot. No, that rapper is in W R A P P R. Yes, there you go. That's what you have to explain. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I got now. I'm specific. But basically, I remember you had to be a fucking a partner with some kind of company to make you a YouTube partner to be able to get that header. That's the 
That's the only fucking thing I wanted was a fucking header. I didn't give a shit about the money. I just wanted a fucking header. I wanted a really <laughs> cool ass header because everybody had a cool ass header that I was watching. They could oh, click and they could go to their right? YouTube. I could go to their YouTube by press uh, their Twitter by pressing a button. Bam! I'm at their Twitter. Wow, why the fuck did it take me to Chuck Commerce Twitter when I clicked on that? <laughs> <laughs> That's what the fuck? Sometimes you just want to oh. be a cool kid. No, that's cool. I'm looking at the one that I just sent. It's Sugar Conroy's channel. And in the header, he has fucking images for each fucking Let's Play he did. You just click the Let's Play and it takes you to the fucking Let's Play. Mm-hmm. Look at that. That's See, that was efficient. fucking cool. That was fucking cool. <laughs> I wanted that. But now I'm just here, jaded old man sitting in his room with no yep. YouTube chat. Yeah, even a Rocky <laughs> chair. It's just a chair that rocks backwards. It rocks backwards, but it's not supposed to. <laughs> it's not good. It's not. <laughs> I need some WD-40 and a fucking screwdriver. <laughs> it's just the That's what I get for spending almost no money on a fucking gaming chair. Well, yeah. <laughs> From, like, Korea or something. <laughs> oh, my God. I I'm mean, sorry. 60 bucks sixty bucks in America, 60 bucks in Korea is going to bring you to the same place. Absolute shit. Uh, yeah... I'm going to keep checking my bank account to see if I get my check. Oh, my check. Give me that money. The, oh, you guys talk about your... Uh, thing. The stimulus check. With the stimulus package. Mm. Yeah. That $1,200 that I super, super don't need because I'm an essential employee. I get paid. No, I'm kidding. It's fucking... It helps. Except Actually... It's a pain in the ass to fucking get it. Apparently. Yeah. You know what I discovered today? I'm not eligible what? for uh, for our Canadian coverage. Uh, did your parents uh, claim you? Is that why? We, no, we were just taking a look at it to see if I could do it. Um, because mm. it's still sketchy. Like, we get two grand a month, right? So That's not bad. Well, but the thing is, if we don't use it, mo- chances are they're going to tax it. And they're actually going to charge us for it. So, like, I didn't really want to do it to begin with, but I'm actually ineligible because I'm getting paid for a job right now. That's bullshit. I know. I was like, the worst part is, I don't get paid until, like, the 15th of every month. So, because I get paid monthly, I'm not eligible for coverage. That's fucking dumb. Wow, I can't believe it. And even then, you know what it includes? Twitch. It includes self-employed stuff. So, because I do work that can make me money, I am ineligible for coverage. I'm like, I just made 128 bucks on Twitch, and I'm ineligible for two grand. Holy shit. That is garbage. Shit. That That's is garbage. Up. So, yeah. But I mean, no matter what, I'm still, like, people who need it absolutely take the support that they're giving for COVID relief, but at the same time, I'm just sitting there going, like, they're gonna, they're gonna ask for it back. 100%. Really? There's no goddamn way they're giving every Canadian at least. I can speak for Canadians, but there's no way they're giving two grand to every Canadian and not taking it back in some way. I have a very hard time believing that. If they keep if they, talking about the way the economy is gonna like falter, I I cannot I cannot sit here and believe that. I'm just gonna be like, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna take two grand. You're good. No, for like four months. Come on, no way. Three or four months it is. Sorry, I got distracted. <laughs> Oh my god. No, if they take it back in some form, if they take it off my fucking taxes at the end of the year... Oh, they're going to, man! I'm gonna be fucking 100%. pissed. But they're gonna 100% take it back in some I don't get to don't not take the check. They're just putting it in my account. <laughs> How the fuck am I supposed to say, oh, I don't want $1,200. Fuck you. I don't know. I don't know, man. This is dumb. If that's the case, that's fucking stupid. Okay, they're not taking it back. Thank you, Marie. You I mean, scared the shit out of me. Well, I mean, here, because we're getting it from multiple ones, we're not just getting like a, here, have 1200 bucks. We're getting a, here's 2000 a month, right? Yeah. But, like, from the way that it's described, I, I don't know if there's, like, what you have to spend on or what you have to, cl- like, to claim it, but it has to sit in your account from what my sister was saying. So... If it comes out where it's like, oh yeah, we don't need it, we don't, you don't need it anymore. I think they could tax you on it, at least unless my sister's misunderstanding it. I'd have to go read it again myself. But wait, I know we're supposed to get another check too, if I remember right. Ooh, 
Ooh, two checks. Yeah, I know, right? It's crazy. It's like people need the money to fucking live or something. It's fucking weird. Man, I mean, I know I'm an essential employee, so I'm trying not to, like, be frivolous with this shit. Um, since I'm... Something, okay, so something I learned... I was actually kind of pissed for the past couple of weeks. I'm an essential employee. I work as a cook at a, at a pizza place. And one of the drivers one day came in, and we're having a conversation. They're like, hey, yeah, no, we're getting, I mean, hey, we're getting $13 an hour, $2 over the minimum wage when we're in the store, because we're getting hazard pay. And our driver wage is going up, so instead of getting $3 an hour on the road, we're getting 5 I'm like, wow, that's kind of fucked. I, I want hazard pay. I'm coming out into the, into the fucking thing i want to get paid two dollars extra an hour so for like two weeks i'm like a bit pissed off because i'm like i fucking come to work and i do my shit and i'm not getting paid hazard pay nobody told me this shit so i found out yesterday i talked to my i talked to my boss i'm like this is not fair if we're not getting she's like you're, you're getting hazard pay and I, I i pull up my paycheck and it's like oh 13 dollars an hour cool all right <laughs> that was awkward nice yeah, no, but that's still just two dollars over minimum wage. I, I'm I'm risking my ass for two dollars. Yeah, it's not a good situation. Uh, but... Yeah, it's really not. I one one of our people did this. I don't know what it's. I think it's like a FL whatever the fuck. It's some kind of paid leave thing where you get <laughs> like you get paid three fourths of your regular pay. Like what you usually get if you're under certain conditions, and I think the one condition is um his kid isn't in school anymore, so the government's like, "Hey, we'll give you the money if you want to take this leave and not go to work." But no one's kids are in school anymore. Ex- exactly. Ah. So technically, if you're an essential employee and that's the case, you can take that leave at least in my state. Yeah. I don't know how it works in other states. I'm not going to tell you guys that this is the case everywhere. Because I am very uneducated when it comes to this shit, yeah. along with politics, so I'm not going to talk about it. Yeah. But this, I just wanted to bring to light, because it's like, oh, it was something that happened. So yeah, I will see that driver for a good month. <laughs> nice. Unless he quits. Because everybody quits. Nobody wants to get paid fucking $3 an hour to deliver you a pizza. No, I wouldn't. Exactly, mm-hmm. especially when you have to pay your own gas, motherfucker. Why are you assaulting me? I didn't do anything wrong. Uh, you didn't. The Our government did. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright, I'm gonna leave that at that. I'm not gonna talk about it no more. I'm borderlining. Somebody give me a topic that's not this! What do you mean you're borderlining? I'm borderlining talking about things I don't like talking about. You already talked about it, though. You're already there, man. You're You're like... Fuck, give me hanging, someone that's not here. You're like, you're like hanging your ass over the line, taking a shit on the topic. Man. Listen, that's that's just, how deep you are. I pay my taxes, and I just want things to be okay. <laughs> I want everybody to stay safe, stay at home. Don't be a fucking idiot and go outside because you're like, I don't want to be inside no more. If you gotta See, get food, okay, go ahead. That's where the tiredness comes in. <sighs> just, just, just don't be an idiot, please. <laughs> I know some of you are. Just stop it. Just fucking stop it. The less people getting sick, the better. <laughs> you just flat out called people. In. <laughs> I did. Have you not seen Twitter? Oh, I've seen the news, man. I yeah, am fucking aware. Dumb dumbs doing dumb things. I'm not gonna <laughs> go into it because. No, I'm just. I'm, I'm, I'm done just, going into it. <laughs> I'm just so glad you just came out and said, "Hey, you idiots! I know you listen to the PGRC. Stop being idiots." So nearly the G of PGRC. <laughs> one person listening to this podcast has to be like, "What? The, he's talking about me? What the fuck? <laughs> fuck that guy! I want to go outside." Yeah, that's that's what makes them idiots is the fact that they get insulted by you talking. They about get them. insulted. And they immediately just walk outside. <laughs> start breathing <laughs> really heavily. No, they're actually outside already taking their stroll by, like, licking telephone poles. They're like, well, I'm not the idiot the fuck. That's another thing. If you go outside for a walk, that's fine. Just 
practice safe shit. Wear a mask. I don't know. Safe away, shitting. People. You heard it. Bring your funnels. <laughs> no, not the funnels, dude. Go back. away. <laughs> God damn it. Fucking damn it. This is not how I wanted to, to fucking pull back. <laughs> Please give me something other than this shit to talk about. What story do we have for tonight? We have the Yugi. Oh, do we have the magic stories, right? There's the uh, magic yeah, we... stories. There's also the Guild of Dungeoneering Heartbreak. Oh. What? No, I know Gamma really wanted to talk about his nine player. I mean, I'm not. It's it's not that big of a story, honestly. It's like a. Well, quick, that's what I was saying. We uh, could we could fit it. both stories in. Okay, yeah. I guess. Okay, any time now, man. Yeah. Go oh, ahead. you're talking about? Oh, it's my turn. <laughs> yeah, it's I've your been turn. Talking for the past twenty minutes, I feel bad because Raz has to sit there and listen to me complain about fucking idiots. <laughs> and yes, and she just... sits in my chat. I don't fucking know. All right. <laughs> <laughs> no so offense, we were... chat. That wasn't a shot at you guys. Don't. All right. So we were talking about magic at some point in the past couple weeks. Yes. Um, and New brought up some ridiculous thing that happened with him. And we were like, oh, let's talk about this another time. Because I'm like, oh, yeah, I did some weird shit when I first started playing magic. <laughs> so one night. Yes, first start playing. Yeah. Um, yeah. So one night, basically, uh, we went to this friend's house. Uh and it was a fun time and we're playing magic and whatnot and they're like hey let's play a fucking let's play a fucking nine player game or ten player game what i don't know how many fucking people it was but it was at least almost ten if not more at least seven and i remember it was so fucking complicated because this was back when i first started playing so i wasn't too mm. like keen on everything i had a basic ass fucking uh green red deck from fucking uh, gate gates. Of, what was that fucking set? Oh, gates to not gates to infinity. Uh, you're talking no, about yeah. gates of Alara? No, gates no, of um, Ravnica. Are you talking about Guild no, War? No, 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 it wasn't ma um, magic gates. Of, gates. No magic gates. No. <laughs> magic the gathering. <laughs> <laughs> not magical gates gate crash i think it was i think it was gate oh crash. my gate crash that's when i first started playing holy was when gate fuck um and i had this basic ass green and red deck because my friend was like you'll like this shit and i'm like all right i, I like this shit so i i picked up the deck and i'm like let's play fucking magic i can get into this uh -huh. so he's like yo i got some friends who play fucking magic i'm like I want to go get my ass beat. <laughs> <laughs> so I did. Yeah. I went, we went to the friend's house. And we played a couple games, like, one-on-one -on -one with everybody. Like, we'd swap around, you know. Yeah. Oh, hey, I'll play with you. And there were some fucking stupid idiots like, hey, let's do a fucking game with everybody. <laughs> a regular ass game where you could choose who the fuck you hit. There was at least ten people at this fucking big-ass table. It was a fucking circle. Everybody's, like... Everybody knows everybody, and I'm just like, oh, Hey, I'm, I'm new here. So, I'm like, alright, cool, let's play. I will have the fun. And basically what had happened was... There's three guys that are just fucking crazy good at magic. Mm -hmm. As always. And everybody's targeting them, and I'm like, okay, um, hey... <laughs> I'll help out. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. I'll pretend that I'm not helping out because I don't want to get my ass beat. But I'll help out, you know? I'll fucking put some shit on people, fucking make them a little stronger, you know? Because I had <laughs> a couple enchantments and whatnot. Uh huh. Um, so we're going in a circle because that's how the game plays out. And basically, um, this one dude brought a zombie deck. Yes. And he played the fucking deck. With me, like he he played with me. Me and him were just going back and forth, back and forth, beating everybody's uh -huh. fucking ass. I'm like, uh, I'm high on power at this fucking great, point, dude. Yeah, I'm fucking high as shit on power, and I'm like, oh man, let's fucking kill everybody. And then I'm like, wait, <laughs> his fucking field is huge. There's like two other, there's like one other person on the fucking field playing. I think it was like white and green. Oh, yeah. So I'm like, we gotta fucking kill this dude. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking zombies that I've been helping out the whole time. He's like, you goddamn straight we do. You fucking ding dong. And I'm like, uh... yeah, that's that's kind of called for. Um, so we're just going back and forth. And I'm like, shit, this fucking deck is crazy. 
So we're back and forth, back and forth. Um, the green white deck. He ends up getting a fucking Hydra at some point. Uh huh. And I have a card in my deck, in my hand right now. It's an instant, and it gives a monster trample. Oh no! The guy with Gamma, the zombie no. deck had five health left. Gamma, you fear this Hydra. Ass. I drop that motherfucking trample instant on that Hydra. And we beat his ass. And I'm like, I'm not even going to try. You win. <laughs> Fuck off. Wow. That was a wow. fucking back and forth ass magic game. And that was, that was like maybe a week into me playing the fucking game. <laughs> so I'm just like super like really excited that I'm like, I got second. I got second in a really big magic game. And we did really good. But yeah, that was that was that was my that was my little little magic story about a very large game of people, and I had a fun time. And magic is fun uh, to an extent. <clears throat> um, I still don't I don't play it no more because I don't have money to keep buying fucking cards every goddamn set. True, dude. That I think I stopped at Dragons of Takir. Yep, same because cons I are good. Yep, I no not cons Dragons of Takir. Which I think was the set right after that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I stopped at the start of that arc. I kept buying cards. It might have been actually cons, now that I think about it. Because I kept buying cards because I kept pulling fucking Ugins. Do you know what Ugin is? I know. That's an Eldrazi, right? No, no, no. Ugin is a dragon that at the time, if I remember correctly, was a $60 card. Oh, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. I And I kept fucking pulling them. I had, like, five in my hand, and I'm like, maybe I'll sell two. Fuck it, who knows? Oh, no. So I kept selling them back and forth, gambling. and I yep. went through the gambling phase, and I'm like, yep. I can't keep spending my rent money on this because I don't have the rent money anymore. <laughs> so that month was a real fucked up month, and I'm like, hey, bud, can you swap me, like, 100 bucks for rent? And they did, and I'm like, okay. And then I stopped playing Magic because I, I couldn't control Magic. myself. Yep. Like, I, I kept just wanting to pull out. I, I need to see what set it was in. What set? What? I, I, yeah, I remember I have Ugin. I don't remember the Ugin dragon, though. Yeah, it, it was a Planeswalker. Uh, what right. set? Right. Oh, was shit. Yeah, that would have been. Spirit Dragon. Bro. Ugin, it was. Ugin. It was a mythic card, magically gathering. It doesn't talk about set. Mythicals uh, ruined ruin the ruin. game. Mythicals ruined the game. Was it was it Fate Reforged? Am I wrong? Is I wrong? Uh, what set I put? I think it was Fate Reforged. Yeah, yeah, it was Fate Reforged. Okay, so I stopped playing around then. Oh man, it's only thirty three dollars now. Fuck. <laughs> wow. I still have three sitting somewhere. <laughs> I never sold them. Yeah, that was my story. How about you, dude? I, I can't wait for you to play my board game and you just backstab somebody who's about to win. Oh, I'll, I'll, trust me. I'm looking forward to doing what I'm planning on doing with the board game so that I can do that in a certain form. Oh, my God. I'm still down to do that I just, as soon as we get that figured out. Oh, yeah. I yeah. want to test the mechanics first, though. We gotta make sure oh, that of works. course. You got to definitely make sure that works. Otherwise, my dumbass won't be able to figure that out. I that is my job. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, mine's um like hold on, I'm doing math. It's okay, okay take your time. I'm, I'm gonna get a drink. I'm gonna be right back. Mine is uh much much less like hey, I'm helping to hey, I literally am asking to be banned from a comic book store. Um, where did Raz go? I'm here. I just have no idea what's going on. Okay, Raz. Yes. I'm gonna make this interactive for you. Ready? Okay, sure. Okay, so imagine this. Uh huh. You have friends. Kind of hard, but okay. Okay, so I I know it's difficult for all of us. So this is what we do. <laughs> all right. Imagine you have a bunch of you you have friends. And mm -hmm. you go to your favorite hangout place. Mm -hmm. And in this hangout place, they serve ice cream. And okay. everyone knows when you go to this place, they have famous vanilla ice cream. So customary that you go in, 
you get the vanilla ice cream, you sit down, and you just enjoy your ice cream, okay? Mm-hmm. Now, there's this individual. Let's name them Tim, all right? Tim <laughs> comes to the table, and this motherfucker has the gall to order strawberry ice cream at a place that is famously known for its vanilla ice cream. Wow. And not only does this Tim character order the strawberry ice cream, but he has, or he or she has the nerve to basically talk up (laughs) how great strawberry ice cream is over vanilla ice cream. So much. How dare they? The ice cream owner basically wants you out of their store forever because their legacy lives on that vanilla ice cream. Now I'll tell um, you about Magic the Gathering. So, perfect, because nice. I just got back. My friend and I... <laughs> uh, <laughs> my, my chat is ready to kill Tim. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to use the name Tim and have him massacred in chat. Um, Why did you use the name Tim? Fuck Tim. Anyways, so... <laughs> So, wow. my friend and I used to play very gimmicky decks. We used to we we were called Timmy players. Gamma knows that term. Timmy basically I do. Big, oh, you don't know what Timmy means? Okay, so no. there were different types of players. There were Timmy players. There were Johnny players, and there were uh, there was another type of name player. Spike. Huh? Spike, oh, actually, yes, I think was it Spike. Wait, Is this stuff a video from Mark Rosewater that I sent you? I don't know. I just know the terms. Oh, there's like Timmy's, and there's Jenny's or Johnny's, and then there's Spikes. Johnny, yeah, Johnny. Oh, yeah. Okay, hey, maybe that is. Is it like the Spikes are the ones that are super competitive and yes. like want to show off, and then like the Timmy's just want to have fun, and then like the Jenny's oh. and Johnny's just kind of want to, I'm like express are the themselves. Johnny's? Or oh, like, I don't I forget. They have I knew Johnny. it as. I knew it as different types of players. Like, Johnny's were the ones who played the gimmick decks. Like, they were oh, the okay. deck players. Oh, this, is, this is different then. Okay. Yeah. The way that it was That's explained different. to me, you're probably right, because my friends, remember, my friends explained to me that Animal Crossing lived off of a, off a, off a cartridge. So, don't worry. I don't, I, I feel like it could be <laughs> That was a memory card, first off. Yeah, that, shut the fuck up. So, Johnny players at the time were the mimic players, or the, or the, uh, the rogue players. They were, they were the gimmicky people. The Timmy players were the people who tried to win through making the biggest play possible. So your entire existence was to build an entire deck around one card. And all 59 of the cards worked to make that one card work. So you literally forced, the, as I loved, have I been loving to say lately, the square peg through the circle. Right? You're literally trying to shove it in there and make it fit. And then you had the Spike or whatever they called them. I, I can't remember what they were called, but I, I basically they were like the super meta and like they're there to win. So probably Spike players. That sounds right. So my friend was a Spike Johnny. He was a Spiked Johnny. So he was super meta, but – and Slivers are amazing. Someone point out in chat, Slivers, that was my deck. Slivers was Slivers my deck. Busted. Um, yes, they were, and that's why I played them, to tilt people. But I played them non-busted. I played them with a a, a card that just, again, made it a, a Johnny deck. But yeah. basically, my friend was a guy who played super meta, but he would take the weirdest combinations and always try to build infinite combos, which basically means that something would just consistently go, and you'd either infinitely win through infinite damage, infinite life gain, infinite mill, like, taking away their deck and stuff like this. So... He was known for that at the comic book store, and we didn't go to the comic book store very often. He did because he would play it a lot more with other people than we would. I like just playing amongst my friends, and I, I played MTG for 10 years, and I, play, and I paid not a lot into it. I played very much on a budget, so like the most expensive deck I ever built was actually my commander deck, and that cost me 120 bucks because yeah, of lots of the cards I just pricey. had. Hmm? Commander gets pricey, man. Oh, I know, I know and that's why I was very happy to build a super budget commander deck that cheese people to death, because I played my AL. Do you remember what my AL does, Gamma? Is that the fucking bird thing? Uh, no, no, the anima, the one that pulls out six costs or more from your deck and plays them? How about that sounds fucking disgusting, you should be ashamed. I am ashamed because I played, like, World Spine Worm, and I played, <laughs> I played everything. I basically out of here. Yes, I, so he, this ties into the story. 
So I'm a scumbag. And I play scumbag decks. Because if you remember me from my PTCGO days, I am a scumbag. I played that Shaman Kofagrigus deck, which won me a creative deck contest. And I'm always going to be proud of that and always flex that. Thank you. But essentially... I would play serious decks, but I'd also play just really fun decks. Um, and my friend would go even harder into it because he had money to play like the super scummy decks. And he was a control player. He was a blue black player or sorry, a blue white player. I was a blue black player. So I was about mill and I was about zombies. I love zombies. That was my first archetype. I, pl- I started playing an onslaught and I played the zombie deck with like stitchers and stuff like that. That was a great deck. I love that deck. Yeah, but that's, that's the antithesis for what I play. <laughs> Yes, I know. I'm oh, literally... Oh. Well, the thing is, I mained... Like, I played everything. The only color I didn't play a lot was, I think... I didn't play a lot of green-black. I just didn't like that style. Oh, no, I did try to play. I just, like, I, I tried Jund. I just found Jund to be gross, especially during Alara time. I just found it too too easy to yeah. play. I, wanted, I, played, I think I played Azorius at that time. Nonetheless, um... Near the end of my MTG, I just started playing whatever the hell I wanted to. So I played my ale, and I'm like, you know what? I don't care about being scum anymore. I literally had a mono blue deck with 40 counters in it. I just played a deck that countered everything, and I won through literally the person quitting. That was the point of the deck. I would win if they quit. It was kind of like my Yu-Gi-Oh deck. Like, you know, it's, it's allowed in the game. You, if you get tilted by that stuff, it's like, well, don't play a game that allows you to get tilted like that. That's just a card game, right? You're one of and I mean, we all went through it. We all got tilted at some points the way that it goes. Whatever. So, Gamma, how far do you remember back in MTG? Because Raz is not going to know anything about this, but I'm going to explain mechanics because she knows game design. I'm going to teach you great game design in Magic the Gathering because Magic the Gathering, if not known for anything else, is known for its phenomenal game design pre-2017. Wow. Gamma, do you remember Myogens? Myogens. If I see the, let me let tell me how how to spell. Look up Myogen. Uh, M Y O J I N. Okay. O J I N. Is this a blue? T- no, no. Myogen. 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 Uh, your crazy spirits. Um, I do not. Okay. Uh, yeah, I don't remember these. Gamma. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Let me look one up for you here. Uh, tell me what color you played, because it's probably right here in front of me. Okay, was, the was white it blue one. or black? The white one. Myogen of cleansing fire. I have that right here. Let me let me read Let's this read out for you real quick. Gamma? Yeah, now, I got you right Raz, here. you will understand the mechanics. We will help you with the mechanics. All right. So, myogen of cleansing fire costs five mana along with three devotion. Uh, legendary creature spirit. It looks pretty dope. It's kind of like a samurai-looking motherfucker right here. Uh, <laughs> Myogen of Cleansing Fire comes into play with a divinity counter on it, and if you played it from your on it, if you played it from your hand, Myogen of Cleansing Fire is indestructible as long as it has a divinity counter on it. Okay. Okay. Move a divinity counter from Myogen. Just... Oh, oh, so that's just a one shot. That's just an instant. That's dumb. <laughs> so. So, Raz, mm-hmm. imagine this. Okay. Imagine that strawberry ice cream eating ass motherfucker is mm-hmm. literally untouchable. Imagine, like, he's in with the law. Like, he paid off the cops, and he's going to eat your, his strawberry ice cream in front of you all day while you're trying to enjoy your lovely vanilla cup. And on top of that, literally when he screams, everyone's vanilla ice cream just flips over and hits the ground. This is a fucking that bully sounds card. terrible. That's gross. Yeah. Yeah. Now, Gamma, so, can you read me Myogen of Infinite Rage, please? Hold on, let me just make a real quick uh, deal with that. Fucking, that's bullshit. Fucking indestructible cards were dumb. Basically, Raz, this card, you could be attacked, but it could be just like, hey, no, you, you attack this now. No, no, no. Well, indestructible is it wouldn't take any damage. Yeah, it, it yeah. It would not take lethal damage. It had to take, yeah. it had to be removed or exiled. Yeah, but with a six toughness is pretty hard to find something else that's not gonna do nothing. Well not not so I only Trample. want you to understand these cards because I haven't mm-hmm. even gotten Alright, let me let me oh, keep yeah. looking. You Here, said I'll, infinite I'll rage. Up, infinite rage? Infinite rage. Alright. <clears throat> well, that's a lot of mana. Uh my gen of infinite rage, seven mana, along with three fire uh, red devotion. Uh legendary creature spirit. 
Uh, it's got seven toughness. I mean, uh, seven. Uh, what was that called? It's not strength. toughness. Seven strength and four toughness. Uh, Myogen of Infinite Rage comes into play with a divinity counter on it if you've played it from your hand. Myogen of Infinite Rage is indestructible as long as it has a divinity counter on it. Remove divinity counter from Myogen of Infinite Rage. Destroy all lands. Yike. Lands were the well, way that you played cards. They were your mana. resource. It's mana. Mm-hmm. It's fucking... It's, it's, yeah, it's mana. It's energy. It's like it's like energy cards in Pokemon. You're fucking gross. You're no, actually no, no. disgusting. <laughs> Fuck this. So, so. Please, continue. Uh, I hate this. So, my friend, he didn't play this ever, and I never knew he built this deck. By the way, it's open now, Raz. Um, so, oh, thank you. <laughs> essentially, in in commander format, big cards, jo- Timmy players, the players who play really big combos, can get away with it because you you have a lot more time to get stuff done, yeah. right? You have a lot more resources. You generally have a lot more legal cards to pull off really big plays. These Myogen cards in a normal game would not fly very well unless you had something broken. So what my friend decided to do in a nine-player game, nine players, which I was a part of, was combo out and play both of those cards that were just mentioned for free. Hold on a second. Does that say all? That says yes. all. In. That's the so Fucking imagine stupid. so imagine this mm-hmm. you're with your friends at that ice cream table all right mm-hmm. and this strawberry licking ass motherfucker not only flips all of your ice cream cups over but pulls all of the chairs out from underneath your asses that's, that's just what my me. friend just did that's what my friend did. He literally that. dropped both of these guys on the t- board at the same time and destroyed everyone's creatures and everyone's lands. And to make it even worse, we were two and a half hours into the game. I'm actually mad. I'm I'm livid at this fucking point because I yes. first off I misread the cleansing fire. <laughs> I said I thought it meant one singular creature. This no. motherfucker black holed the fucking game. So it's like all the work you had done in the past two and a half hours doesn't fucking matter anymore. Every and the worst part, so every was, resource. Yeah. Oh. So his deck was absolutely genius. You have to look at it from a game designer's perspective, right? These cards are trash when they're brought outside of where they were meant to be built in, right? They're trash cards. They're not that good. Because they're very difficult to play. But um, when played in a format that allows it to be broken, it basically broke the entire game. And the worst thing about it was the way that his deck had to play was to let that happen. So, like, we had to, we had to actually die that way. We have shooting stars. Um, so... The, his deck basically had a lot of healing spells and had a lot of things that redirected damage. And what he would do was he would either, like what Gamma did, he would, re-de- he would redirect damage so he would actually buff other people up. No, Raz, my shooting stars! He would buff other Sorry. people up to incentivize them to pick other people off in the game first while he was setting this shit up in the background. Like, he literally played everyone against each other. And then he dropped that shit. You said he he played them for free. Yes. By which means? So he had... Because they're infinite combo. uh, Infinite combos that you could do with, like, Urza's Mines and stuff like that, or whatever they are. Uh, So so he literally played... I can't remember what it was. It's like Urza's Power Plant and stuff like that. And then on top of that, he would use charge counters, or he would use cards that would basically charge up free free mana, or free, uh, what's it called? Oh my god. What's it called again? What do you call the the energy in MTG? Is it mana? No. 
It's uh, yeah, no, it's mana. It's mana. Yeah, yeah, it's mana. Okay, yeah. Sorry, I, I, yeah. I, I um, just pulled up verses. He had a he had a bunch of cards that would basically give themselves free mana of any color that he needed, and what he would do was he would just infinite combo for colorless mana. And then use those extra cards, which were like artifacts and stuff you wouldn't pick off randomly, to give him the opportunity to just play these things whenever he wanted to. And he would have cards that would specifically empty his deck to then find these specific cards. While playing everyone against themselves, it was by far the most manipulative thing I've seen my friend ever do. And he like, he's a mastermind when it comes to game theory. He is when I, when I brought my board game over, the dude was like literally doing the whole woman with all the mathematical signs. Like you could see the signs around his head. He's he was trying to think it out and he couldn't like, he couldn't figure it out. Cause the game's much simpler. That's just a numbers game. But um, <clears throat> like you could see the theory would just like buzz through this man's head. And, you have no idea. I never thought I was so afraid of seven fat, sweaty, ugly men just sitting around a, a table holding cardstock. Because I swear to God, one guy was ready to jump across the table and wring my friend out from the neck. Like, he was so pissed off. And he wasn't even winning. Like, he wasn't even set up. He had next to nothing on the board. Because he was getting... he Again... He was getting targeted by multiple people because he was a threat because he was playing blue green before they banned all the broken blue blue green shit. So, like, I, I turned to my friend after. First of all, we were asked to leave. We were actually asked to leave. Wait, where was this? This is at a comic book store near my house. Oh my! And this was God. a comic store we went to often. And he was. Oh. We were playing with friends. We were playing with a couple of randos, but it was mostly people that we knew, or he knew more than I did. But I knew of them mm -hmm. through my other friend who hangs out, like my next door neighbor, hangs out with them a lot. So we were asked yeah. to leave, um, and we were kind of like, okay. They, they basically it was it, the time for MTG was up because they were going to do like Friday Night Magic or something like that. So, <laughs> but we were asked to leave a little early, and they basically went to my friend and they told him. I don't know if they told him directly, but they basically said like, "Don't ever do that again." And he goes, do what? Play the game? And they go, no. Don't ever be a dick like that ever again. I and mean, I don't know. So, so here's the thing, right? And this is what I had to explain to my friend. Because him and I were pretty much on the same page. Yes, that strategy is disgusting. But at the same time, it's allowed in the right. game. He's, and he's not wrong to play it, right? Yeah. The thing, the proper thing to do at that point in the game is to quit the game. I think what ended up happening was because the game was like two hours in and everyone was tired and trying to make something happen. And my friend literally reset the entire board because I think the other thing that he did, which made it super funny. Do you remember Karn? Karn the Golem, the Silver Golem? That's a Karn. Uh, is it Planeswalker? Yeah, I can't remember if if Karn was allowed. Hey, Taco Boy! Oh man, Taco Boy remembers this game with Richie. He remember the game that that Richie dropped the double Myogen. He's got to remember that one. He was in. I'm pretty sure you were in that one. Oh man, I I this is horrible. I don't know how you went through this. But the one where he resets the entire game. Yeah, that's fucking that the, gross. Yeah, so he. <laughs> So he dropped the double Myogen, and then next turn he would have dropped Karn to reset everyone's hand. Uh, oh my god, I'm reading it right now. <laughs> so Raz, let me, let me explain to you through the ice cream analogy. Not to dumb it down for you, but this is, this is going to make it funny. So your ice okay. cream's been flipped upside down, the chair's pulled up from underneath your ass, and then he turns back time and does it again. He could oh. infinitely do that. What's the chair can, right back under your ass? Yeah, he rips he it, right it right back, back out. Under to then rip it up. Basically, my friend put us in an infinite cycle of gaining and losing everything. <laughs> it was, <laughs> it was so genius, but so gross. But um, basically, needless to say, that's when we stopped going to that comic book store. We we rarely went back to play with the guys. Um. He was pretty upset about that afterwards. And I mean, rightfully so. I mean, because, like, it yeah, it was a scummy thing that he did, but at the same time, it's just, like, to be shamed like that for outplaying people and showing a combo that wasn't stopped 
it's kind of like, yeah, okay, but you sure know, this yeah. commander is just bullshit unto itself. Like, exactly, there's a lot of exactly. cards, especially because you can play the older shit. It's basically legacy, but you can play almost every card ever made. It's it a lot doesn't more matter how big now, but yeah, back yeah. then, like this was talking probably. Oh, geez, when I stopped. When was Konzatark here? 2016? Yeah, I think was so. playing MTG while streaming, so yeah, at least 2016. Um, like they that. had started fixing Commander quite a bit then. We should play but... MTG Arena together, noob. I mean, I have it. I just, I, I don't do know. Too. I, can't, I don't I, know if I can play card games again. I, I don't know if I can go back. I don't know. Who knows? It's like, it's, like mo- it's like MMOs. I don't know if I can go back. Yeah, Other I than, re- so I, I promised Re-Legend, so... Rather than okay. I have to play Re-Legend when it gets better and gets cheaper. Gotcha. <laughs> Re-Legend actually, isn't an, an, actually is not an MMO, though. Oh, it's not? It's not. I thought it was. No, no it's no. not. Well, when I mentioned it, it the first time I messed up. It's just stuff. like... Think of like the Stardew Valley thing, where you can have multiple yeah. people. Yeah. Right. It's like okay. That. It's not an MMO. For some reason, I thought it was an MMO. Either way. Um... But, but yeah, that story. I guess I don't know. He 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 seems like he, he he was in the right. He's allowed to play whatever the fuck he wants. Well, it's- but this is the thing, and and what reminds me of it is, I used to play poison decks in Commander, uh-huh. and the okay. funny thing is, Commander did not in the rules accommodate for the fact that you only need to get ten poison counters for twenty health, so. In Commander, you have 40 health, but you can still only give them 10 poison counters. And I could ramp poison in a matter of, like, three turns. So what ended up happening was people started putting house rules on me to make it 15 to 20 poison counters instead. I said, no, no. This deck is literally built to abuse the rule that Wizards of the Coast didn't balance. Literally, I'm playing this deck because I want to fucking cheese you out. Not to play fairly, because I'm not here to play fairly. If it's part of the game, I want to play it as part of the game. And they actually denied me from playing. They stopped me from playing the deck. I mean, I'm like, was... no, go. I don't know. No, I was, I was just going to say, like, when it comes to bullshit stuff like that, I, I agree that it's not, like, cool to play it, but you're within your right to play it. Like, yeah. The thing is, play it, but it doesn't mean that people are going to play it with you. That yeah, That's exactly. how it should be. It's not like, oh, you're not allowed to play that. Fuck you. Yeah. Well, the thing was, because it was very, I mean, comic, books get, comic book stores can get very cliquey. Obviously, like any other place that have a, a mm-hmm. bunch of tight-knit friends. It happens everywhere, right? It happens yeah. on this channel. It happens on everybody's channel, right? Mm-hmm. But, um, like, it was the fact that because everybody thought the same way, yeah, I was exactly right. And that's and that's what I told people. I'm like, yeah, it's fine if you don't want to play me, but just know that I have this deck. Because the other thing that I was sick and tired of was people flexing their money and flexing how good they were at the game. I'm like, okay, motherfucker, beat a deck that can kill you in one quarter of the time. Do it. Do it. Show that you're the best and beat a broken mechanic. And they didn't want to show it. I'm like, that's because you're a crybaby. You don't want to play it. Oh, this, it's not fair. I don't want to play it. Well, then you're not. How can you be good at the game if you can't beat a broken mechanic? Yeah. Like, it was, it was, it was a funny experience. My definitely, it definitely uh, brought me to a revelation about what was happening with the card game. Like when when we were playing with other people and stuff like that. And that's when I kind of made the decision, especially after like. They basically started snubbing my friend and stuff like that. And I'm just like, okay, if you're going to start snubbing my friend because of the decks that he plays, we're just going to play at home and not give you our business. Like, literally, fuck that. Like, he can come here on his own if he wants to, but I'm not supporting you guys if you're going to be this group of friends that are, like, going to be working together to not make him have a good time. Like, that's just stupid. Yeah, no, I, I agree on that. That's it, it's stupid. You, you can't tell people how to play their games, and you can't yeah. tell them to leave because you don't like how they play their game. You can tell them you won't play with them. That's that's fine. But when it comes yeah, to telling exactly. them they're not allowed to do what they do, it's not like you're hurting anybody. It's not like you actually went up. Because yeah. I've heard stories where people got hurt because of magic, like fucking stupid ass people being dumb. Like, oh yeah, I'm fucking mad. I'm gonna punch this dude because he used Wait, his magic card. Wait, physically hurt? Me. Oh yeah. Oh, have I you not heard dumb. the horror stories of fucking comic shops where people are like, 
man, fuck you, this is bullshit, and then they fucking beat them up or something, it's fucked up. Well, I've seen it once, we had it once, some guy flipped the table on another guy, and they just yeah, started like, the tournament. Yeah, but that's that's not the person who played the game their way's fault, it's the person who's a fucking idiot and loses their mind because... No, they... it's, just, it's, it's a person who is like, oh, I lost that, you know what it is? It's the person who loses to Oko moves in VGC. Yeah, I mean, it's there. It's not like you're not allowed to use the fucking exactly. mechanic. It just means that, like, next time somebody's like, oh, hey, you want to play Pokemon? No, you play Oko moves and it's bullshit and I don't want to play it. That's fine. You don't have to play with the person. Bam! Easy. Yeah, exactly. Easily resolved. Fuck you. <laughs> if you think you gotta get upset and lose your mind because somebody plays a certain way, fuck that. I don't know. Whatever. Magic's busted. <laughs> I mean, I, I hear that they've gotten a lot better with at least their standard format cards, because they basically just made a bunch of... Like, they, they essentially just made it... Yeah, play these cards and you're good, if you want to play the style, right? So, that's what I'm understanding from what I'm watching in Arena. I could be absolutely wrong, but that's just the way that I'm in... That's the way I'm seeing all card games now. Like, even, Ma even Pokemon, I'm just seeing all these games go the way of... Like Yu-Gi-Oh, where it's like, yeah, play this style and you're fine. Like, if you really want to play aggro, here's your aggro cards. If you want to play control, here's your control cards. Like, the, the, um, the whole, like, finding these pseudo mini strats has kind of been eliminated, I guess, for more predictability, which is fine. You want predictability in a video game or in your, yeah. sorry, in your video game, in your card game. But at the same time, like, you know, it just, it always rings the whole, you got that back, got pressed to the back, and be like, oh man, I want to die to something I didn't see coming. Yeah. I feel that. But. Yeah. That's why it influences the way that I built my, uh, my board game, because I'm like, there are things in there that could just be straight BS, but it's like, if you go into the game knowing that can happen, you gotta be ready for that. Like, you can't complain. You could complain about it and legitimately can take constructive critique to try and like minimize the impact it has or the frequency that happens, but you got to go in knowing that something's eventually going to fucking happen to you. Right. It, it just happens, especially when you're playing. A, the best thing I've ever heard gamma and Raz is card games are like one of the most skilled style of games. I'm like, motherfucker, there's RNG in the game. How is it the most skilled? Basketball is skill. Soccer is skill. MOBAs are skill. Why? Because elements of RNG are minimized or removed. There is so much RNG in a card game, it's ludicrous to say that it is the higher level of skill in terms of games. Not a chance. Not a chance in hell. Then again, like there, are some, there are some uh, means that that's not the case. You know, like my Yu-Gi-Oh! story I had last week. That wasn't skill, that was just both. I mean, that no, was like the Blackwing story that I told. That was just yeah, like, no, literally like, crushing a kid that had, that was just ramming his head through a meta game that didn't know how to do it. Yeah, no, exactly. Like, <sighs> but th that's the thing. You can't get like upset. You can just be like, eh, I don't want to play with you no more. That's not fun to me. That's fine. Bam. Easy. Problem solved. Actually, oh my god, that reminds me. I, I was watching some of the old videos. <laughs> Pulling back to the first part of this episode. Of older YouTube channel. <laughs> I... The uh, Yu-Gi-Oh story was at a con that I actually recorded for that YouTube channel. Mm. It was, it was uh, interesting because I saw us playing playing Yu-Gi-Oh, but I also saw us playing a game that I couldn't remember the fucking name of. Oh. There was this card game that they were tr There was a guy like, hey, have you heard of this card game? You should try it. You can have these decks. Like like these little theme decks. Was it, it was called, Bell? um no, it was called um, Spoils. Okay. And it was basically magic, but dumb. <laughs> it was Excellent. like a dumbed-down version of magic, from what I could tell. They're like, oh, yeah, this is like, you can do the resources and stuff, I guess. So it's not an ice cream shop, it's like a garage sale. Uh, it was literally us at this convention, playing Yu-Gi-Oh!, and this guy's like, hey... You want to play a card game? You guys want to buy my it's decks? Free. <laughs> I'm like, all right, sure. Because all we had was Yu Gi Oh! at the time. 
It was like, this game is called Spoils, and it's like magic, but it's not magic. And I had no idea what that meant, because I didn't know what magic was at that time. Yeah. Point in time. And he teaches us the game, and I'm like, oh, yeah, this is fun, I guess. And my he's friends like, are like, please, for God's sake. So he's like, I'll give you these decks for ten bucks a pop. And I'm like, I have money to spend. I'm at a convention. Why the fuck yep. not? Yeah. So I bought the decks, and we played them once and never again. <laughs> if anybody wants to look it up, it's just, it's it's spoils or the spoils, something like that. It's it's a card game that I'm pretty sure nobody plays. Uh, spoils card game. Yeah, like it was the, the funny thing was I remember that some of the cards were like references to things. Like one of the fucking cards was just Choji from Naruto. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, sure. This is cool. Let's see, when when was the last set? Oh, 2015. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's not uh pretty sure it's not uh there no more. I'm pretty sure nobody plays it. Alright, Raz. Somebody's had to get pissed at a game jam. Gotta be. At a game jam? Or or like at any point. Somebody had to be like Are we selling gamer jam? <laughs> gamer gamer jam. jam. Ten bucks pop? <laughs> Oh, Come on, guys. Put in the orders. Order your gamer jam today. Yeah. No, it's gotta, there's got to be someone eventually in your experience that you've gamed with that is like literally pissed off someone else for no good reason. And they're just like mad about it. I've been lucky enough to not really encounter people who rage at video games. Well, look how special like, you are. Like, I haven't really wow. had to go through that. Fuck. This is an anomaly. See, Jesus. see, this this would probably be different if I ever tried using voice chat on Overwatch. Oh, <laughs> don't do No, you never use yeah. voice chat on a MOBA. Good God. Did you just call Overwatch a MOBA? Isn't it? No. Is, is it, is it, would you consider it? No, it's a MOBA. It's a no, MOBA. No, it's not. It's, it's, not a, soup. it's not a shooting game. It's no, what the fuck? It's fucking Team Fortress 2, you fucking ding dong. <laughs> mm -hmm. I've MOBA... never heard anyone call Overwatch a MOBA before. Hots is a MOBA. League of Legends <laughs> is a MOBA. Fucking yes. Dota's a MOBA. I hope is so. Team Fortress 2 a MOBA? <laughs> Did Team Fortress 2 have abilities with their shooting? No. So... <laughs> But Overwatch does, so it's a mobile. Who the fuck cares? See, CSGO is a shooter game because you... it's weapons and shooting and strategy with it. No. Overwatch has abilities. No. Val I call so you're Valorant saying also because a the game, game has abilities. Yeah. Plus you it has what shooting. The fuck it MOBA it MOBA. For? Massive online battle arena. Res help, please. But it's not please. really an arena. Help. I mean, no, it is. Can you, can you go out? It's online battle arena. Yes, you are correct. But there is no arena. There is a battle, but no it's arena. A, it's an arena. No, it's fucking not. It's You're, a it, <laughs> Yes, it is. It's an arena. Raz, help. Raz, please. <laughs> I can't. My head hurts. I need... Mm. If... If Overwatch is a MOBA, is Smash a MOBA? Is Team but Smash is, is, No, because Smash doesn't have abilities. Smash has everything built into the character. <laughs> the fucking abilities is bullshit! What are you defining as an arena? Okay. The, if that is like the key defining factor of all of this. Okay, what do you define as an arena? Because HOTS has like 14 maps, and League has one map, and I, to my knowledge, CSGO and Overwatch, ha um, Overwatch has multiple maps, as well as CSGO has one map, so I mean, that checks out. And on top of that... League of Legends and everything has abilities. If we were just shooting, then yes, I would call it a shooter game. But because it has abilities, it's not so much a shooter game, it's like a shooter RPG that's making it a MOBA. I'm so confused. See, Smash doesn't have abilities, exactly. So it's not a MOBA. It's oh, built in. Oops, like everything a, a fighter game has to do, there it goes. But, but my point oh, is God. that, okay, so like, what, what exactly is it like the fact that there are abilities specifically? Because, like, I don't know, like, the arena thing is also confusing me. I don't it's consider like, Overwatch the... a shooter game because it has abilities. Okay. Be because to me, 
like CSGO, Apex, uh, I don't know much about, well, it's like, I don't know, no, Apex Legends has abilities, that's, screw that shit, but, and so does Valorant, wait, screw that wait, shit. Wait, wait, so, so right. Apex Legends is a MOBA? <laughs> yes. Um, no! Maybe MOBA, maybe MOBA is not the correct word for it, but I don't consider it a true shooter, okay. because to me, a true shooter is literally just working with the weapons and supplementary secondary wep- uh, sub- secondary weapons on top of that. Having abilities that literally affect terrain and shit like that does not constitute that as a shooter. It does not. Because it literally is a fantasy shooter, but therefore not a shooter because it's fantasy. That's my that's my statement. Are you saying you can't combine the two things together and have it be no. both of those things and therefore it has to be something completely different? No, I didn't say just that. I just it, I'm just saying I don't consider it a true shooter. Hold the goddamn phone. I, I literally don't consider type- it a true shooter. Look at that fucking screenshot. I literally typed in Google. <laughs> what is Overwatch classified as? The first fucking thing is Overwatch is actually categorized as <laughs> and not a MOBA. A MOBA consists of two opposing teams whose goal is to destroy the enemy's main structure. That is... <laughs> wow. Hey, Google's listening. Look at that. See, Google's a fan of our podcast. <laughs> I am concerned. Yes, I'm still up. Shut the fuck up, Galvin. <laughs> <laughs> Go back to play spoils! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> no, look, I didn't mean to call it a MOBA. I did call it a MOBA. It's a MOBA. But the point being... <laughs> no. I'm sharing this with chat. I'm sharing the screenshot with chat. So, here's the so thing. So they can see. For me, when I think of shooters... Because here's the thing, right? People say Overwatch is competitive, and I completely disagree. Because there's nothing competitive about an alt that literally gives you auto-aim. literally like literally it 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 makes no sense to me isn't that the point of ults to do things yeah to to Special. have the ultimate thing that protects your that that helps your kit auto aim is stupid and having auto aim for like how many seconds is it i don't remember like, eight. like 10 seconds i think it got nerfed at some point uh, okay what is Overwatch considered? Overwatch is considered an online team based. Okay, Gamma, account. it's a fantasy shooter, okay? I'm not denying that. It's I'm not a fantasy, it's shit in the real world, world goddammit. Isn't it like super shooter. futuristic? It's like. <laughs> I like uh, how it is. I'm sorry, are we shooting with rocket ships on our backs yet? Rocket <laughs> ships. Rocket <laughs> packs? Whatever. Jet packs. There we go, that one. I, I scrolled down like two inches, and the first thing that comes up for Reddit is can we please be clear that Overwatch is not a MOBA? <laughs> What genre is Overwatch? First person shooter, bam, <laughs> easy. Fucking Google, t- Wikipedia. The game's fucking Wikipedia, it's just first person shooter, okay? <laughs> if Wikipedia is wrong, then I don't want to be right. Wikipedia <laughs> is wrong sometimes. We <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> not this time. <laughs> if Wikipedia is not allowed in my post-secondary institutions, it is not allowed in this conversation of degeneracy where Overwatch is a MOBA. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you fucking can't. <laughs> I've been deleted. Oh no. It's not a MOBA. Okay, but that doesn't tell me anything. I don't know what TF2 is. I never played TF2. It's I didn't call TF2 based. a MOBA, did I? Wait, yeah, you, you did. did. It's, it's, no, I didn't call I TF2 said, a MOBA. I said it's basically TF2. TF2 is not a MOBA. Does TF2 have abilities that alter... It, every character has different abilities, yes. Oh, so it's done. So it's a mobile. The scout okay. gets a shooty gun and he fast. God, no! Soldier gets a, sh- a, a a bazooka and he like, all right, oh, cool. cool. I shoot the ground. He fly. Fucking sniper gets a sniper. And he can <laughs> piss at people. Oh, interesting. His sniper has a sniper rifle. Damn, that's, that's fucking flamethrower guy gets the fucking flamethrower. What the fuck? Do you- <laughs> I okay, but but for real though, I'm actually surprised you have not played TF2. TF2 no, is no. like. It's been free for so fucking long. I don't it's have like anyone to play it with. I didn't want I to play it either. I'm not a I shooter play, player. I will play TF2 with you. I'm not, not a shooter player. player. Sometime this week. I will, I will we got Sea of Thieves to play. What are you doing? I don't have Sea of Thieves. I don't I care for the game too much. No, I didn't. Oh, I thought you did. No, Marie has Sea of Thieves. Oh. 
my throat actually fucking hurts. You know what? This is for all the payback of you calling Hots a dead game. So fuck all of you. (laughs) Okay, I will bring it out. Suffer. Suffer. I am sorry. Fuck you. (laughs) I'm sorry for calling Hots a dead game. It was the middle of... It was fucking 3 a.m. You're like, oh no, they're stopping support for the game. And I'm like, well, shit, I guess it's a dead game. Day after day... I had to sit in a call with you, Tim, and Ox, talking about how Hots is a dead game with Zeno, the man who loved playing Lucio in Hots, by the way. Dude, he played it for the fucking Overwatch skits. Exactly. <laughs> he loved it enough. He loved it fucking enough for a dying game. He loved. What the he, he loved fuck? Overwatch enough. I didn't <laughs> play the other. You know, what the know, fuck? Man. Fuck all oh, you. Hots is alive oh. and barely kicking, but it's alive. Hey, I... noob, noob, if Hots is dying and you need another MOBA to play, maybe you should switch to Overwatch. You know what? That would be a great MOBA to switch into. That's right. I have <laughs> Overwatch, too. I just Wait, threw no, my I... fucking mask. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Uh, oh, yeah, Overwatch 2 is coming out at some point, I think. Yeah, yeah so yeah, what's the point? That. I don't want to... Oh. Man. Well, yeah, but it's what different. Overwatch play? 2 is going to be a bad mobile, game. Man. Oh, no, yeah, my, I can't my afford DPI. a new mobile game right now, man. <laughs> I have to go back to League. Oh, shit. Thanks for listening to the podcast, guys. We really do appreciate y'all. Uh, thank you Somebody. very much for bearing all of this. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, whatever. <laughs> thank you for playing to my nostalgia and my shitty stories. And also this. <laughs> <laughs> this segment where, once again, I am wrong about something. But really, I'm doing it just to be wrong. It's a- I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not doing it to be right. I'm, I'm here just to tilt all of you, because fuck you, Hots is alive. It's okay to be wrong. Yes, I know. But when it's you're wrong... It's not okay wrong. for your mouse, though. Your mouse is dead. <laughs> yeah, my mouse... Your mouse is deader than Hots. I'm just I, I actually hit the uh, the DPI button, so it was really... like I, When I moved it, it didn't move far. So I was like, oh, oh no. no, my mouse is broken. And then I pressed the button, I'm like, oh. Oh, it's uh, it's <sighs> just low DPI, because I accidentally hit the button. Okay, can we can we just make sure... Can we? What's the timestamp on this? I'd look two hours at this point, I think. Okay, can you make sure that Ox listens to this part when I tell her She's that Overwatch in- is trash? And should actually be like like low. T- it's low tier gameplay. Just tell her. Make sure she listens to that part because I'm I not actually tell her. Over- oh come on! I'm not gonna. T- I want her oh, to actually true. listen to the podcast. True. She'll get to this point and then she'll she'll hear that. And I mean, I actually One- kind of believe. I I really fell out of Overwatch to be honest. I I just I did too. It it really just started to piss me off more than be fun. Not because people got better than me. It's just like I literally could not stand the gameplay anymore. It was just something about it just started to get sour. I mean, not saying it's a bad game, but it, it just it just started to get really sour for me and I, I needed that I needed that other MOBA fill type of thing. Like that MOBA feeling fill. MOBA feeling, okay. not MOBA game, MOBA feeling fill. See, for me, I stopped playing because I didn't have anyone to play it with. That's and right. as That's a result, it was just the being in matches with random people and uh, not really communicating and then mm. getting ass kicked so many times and getting salty. <laughs> that was me with League. I, I only played with friends. So I, st- I started playing solo. I just got too salty solo. Now I play Hots because I can actually beat people solo. Wow. wow. Not like it's a big competition, but you know. It's a, wow. It's very much a 50-50 for me. <laughs> Uh, I'm so glad I'm good at Hots. <laughs> I I'm happy for you that you're good at the game you like. I love I, I care love about. I love beating on crappy reject league players and then dying to masters because they have to place me with masters to make me look immortal. Fucking well, bastards! <laughs> I'm kidding. I die to people my own tier, but the point is. I get to pick out a lot of low tier people. Uh, I, I will say in I'm this podcast, profit. Noob is a very good <laughs> Hots player. He taught me how to not be garbage. In, and then he in stopped Mobus. playing. Well, I'm. Uh, no, in Hots League, I'm League is well much different now. I wouldn't have any authority in League. Hots, I could definitely tell you a lot. But yeah. even then, my opinions are for solo queue. They're not for ranked. 
like Dude, the way I the way I see it is like way different from the actual way you should play it, but my way works. So we should just all play TF2 for the next podcast. <laughs> play that would end horribly, but man, that oh my god, that brings me back to the first thing again. Remember I was talking back about in how the I was, old days. back in the old 2012s, back when Twitch was first a babby. I did the streamings. A lot, because I was sick and couldn't go to school. And want to know, want to know what I played? TF2, because it was free. Well, While you're doing that, I was playing MapleStory. Yeah, well, MapleStory Maple is trash. So. Story. You hear that they're closing MapleStory Maple 2? Because it's trash? Wait, they're closing MapleStory 2? Oh, yeah, in like, not even a month. Wow. Really? Damn. Yeah, my... Shit. My friend uh, uh, Nas Syndrome actually did a video uh, talking Whoa. about it. Uh, did if you guys it really check do that, that out. badly? Um, it's not that I don't know. It didn't do horribly. It just it's just not getting the usage that it needs to survive. People mostly forgot about it after launch. Oh! Oh! Wow! Like after launch, it just Damn. went downhill, and they can't. I guess they can't afford to keep the servers up, or there's no point at this point. Um, wow. If you want a better explanation, go check out uh, the Nerd Syndicate or Nas Syndrome or whatever he has his YouTube name as right now. <laughs> he, he he talks pretty in-depth about it. It was, it was nice watching. Wow. I'm surprised. Yeah. No, it was... Uh, nobody cares. <laughs> wow. God damn. Yeah. I mean, I could understand It's MapleStory to a MOBA. Yes, very much so. Is it a uh, MOBA? Oh my god, no! no. Oh, I, meant to, I meant to say MMO, my bad. Um, everything's a MOBA now. So, <laughs> I, I mean, my board game's a MOBA. It actually is a MOBA. It's, that is the, great. it's just not online, it's a MOBA. That's great. <laughs> it's, 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 it's a MOBA. Oh my god. It's a mini battle arena. It's a MOBA. I hate this. <laughs> I don't ever want to play a MOBA ever again. I, I figured Maple Tory, Maple, Maple Satori Maple 2 Tory. would not do very well because lots of people were still playing the first one. Well, and nothing really changed. I think. Yeah. I like the art style, though. Both were good. People hate on changes in art styles, and I hate that because it's like they literally took a direction. It's like, it's like the new Mystery Dungeon. It reminds me of the Mystery Dungeon. But like, eh, this, this, this pencil sketch art is not like, but I mean, it's just different. It's not I mean, you're allowed to say it sucks, but if that actually affects the way you play, then don't tank the game over that. Like, I don't want the game to burn if it doesn't look good. That just sucks. Okay, well, uh, I will drop a link to the video if that's cool into the yeah. chat. All right. Yeah, this is the uh, video I'm talking about. He, he does a good job of explaining what's up because he, he was into the game back when it first came out. It, he was like a lot of people who enjoyed the I wanted Maple to. Maple Story and jump, jump ship to Maple Story too. I wanted to, man. I yeah. so wanted to. <laughs> oh man, I, I don't know. Is life a MOBA? Uh, very much so. <laughs> it's a MOBA. What team am I on? What's the oh, no. <laughs> the losing one, man? If you're asking that, <laughs> <laughs> people who are winning don't need to ask what team they're on. They know. Maple Satori. Um, what the fuck? Maple Satori. I am not aware of this. <laughs> Dude, the Maple Satori video is so good. What the fuck is that? Maple Satori. What is this man doing? He's dancing. Is that dancing? Is that dancing? Is that what we call dancing? Yes. <laughs> Every single time someone mentions Maple Story, that video comes to mind. Oh, God. Like, without yeah. fail, that's all I can think of. <laughs> Maple Story! <laughs> oh, that's the song we gotta sing when it dies now. I think you gotta it's being too. lowered into its grave. <laughs> <laughs> you just hear. M -m 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 <laughs> Help. <laughs> what time is it? It's fuck o'clock. I can't go on anymore. I 
I need to reevaluate my life and the meaning of no, you MOBAs. Don't. You need more maple citori in your life. I. <laughs> you need to tie yourself to a cherry tree, be Abraham fucking Washington, and <laughs> <laughs> you need to I... become the man who defends maple citori too. So we can have this I, guy come back and do more dancing. I'm mentally incapable of... Incapable. Nice this. try. I said incapable, right? I don't know. I'm tired. No, you said incapable. I am mentally incapable of continuing this conversation any further. <laughs> so we should probably get to the goings. All right. What you do is you, you plug yourself. I'm going to sing Maple Satori for you, okay? All right. Once I, I plug myself fish. in. <laughs> okay. Ready? Ugh. Tell me when you're charging. I'm charging. Bull bull. Okay. Uh, it's me, I'm Chibi Maple Robo. Citori. <laughs> Maple Citori. I do stuff Maple on Twitch Citori. sometimes Maple if I have Citori. time. Maple I do Citori. the podcast. Yeah. That's Maple go Citori. find me, I guess. <laughs> if you're asking Maple at this point. Citori. Just look at one of the other episodes so you can hear it correctly. <laughs> no, plug yourself, please. <laughs> Somebody I, has to sing Maple Satori. No. I'm not doing that. Fuck. No, oh, fine. I'm not. I'll, I'll sing my way through my plugs. Ready? Oh my god, okay, I hate go this. I'm leaving. Twitch.tv slash Pokenoof Twitter and Insta Grandma Proki Noob Maple Citori Somebody help, I'm being held against my will. I I don't have the fucking nostalgia for this. What the fuck is this? I don't either. I just I as someone who never played Maple Story, I watched I had watched that video once, and that's all I can think of whenever I hear Maple <laughs> Story. Like, I have no idea. I just think of the giant <laughs> bean boss. Fucking Pink oh Bean. He could go. You know what? He could die with the rest of the franchise. Fuck you, Pink Bean. <laughs> Fuck all you. You know what? Fuck all you who said Hots is a dying game. Fuck all of you who said Zackum fight couldn't let me in because I didn't have the, the maple weapons. This is revenge. <laughs> this, is, this is my revenge story. This is oh, this is man. this is when I go Super Saiyan and punch all the nerds that that pissed me off in my day. Uh, but seriously, Twitch, Instagram, and Twitter at Pro Pokenoop and uh, and, and uh, Twitch at Amagama. Twitter probably at Amagama. Yeah, sure. And I'm Raspberry Blitz. Oh, are you not gonna do the singing? Oh, did you please want me don't. to? No, please. <laughs> if you want to. Stop. Okay, she said yes. Okay, here we go. Go for it, Raz. I'll, I'll do it, I'll do it in a different way. Yeah, that's fine. I know. Uh, okay, mm. I don't think I'm ready for this, but okay. I'm, okay, okay, here we go. All right. So, I'm Raspberry Maple Blitz. Citori. Um, I stream on Twitch at twitch.tv. Raspberry Blitz. <laughs> you can also find me on Twitter. <laughs> At Raspberry Blitz. And that is all my social and whatnot. I'm gonna be starting to play uh, The Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky the third. She's gonna start playing Maple Story. She's just lying to you. No, I have no plans to play Maple Story. <laughs> okay, you're not a politician. You don't have to explain yourself that way. Even if you wanted to. <laughs> But if you're interested in that, I will be streaming that very soon. <laughs> yep. Maple Citori! Oh, oh my god. Formally apologize for my friend. <laughs> he, he can't go more than five minutes without saying Maple Satori. <laughs> Are you bringing me to AA? Hi, my name is Noob, and I can't stop saying Maple Citori. I, the people who have to listen to this, I am so sorry. <laughs> no, you're not. I'm not, because I'm getting the fuck out of here. Yeah, leave us with Craig. We'll just keep going. Oh, my God. <laughs> Back in my day, nostalgia was a MOBA. <laughs> oh, oh, and, oh, no. And? 
That's about it. Oh, you disappoint me. Don't I always?